इट्स प्रॉब्ली द मोस्ट हॉरिफाइंग एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ माई लाइफ इज रनिंग फ्रॉम जेट और बेसिकली मेरी वालदा को कहा कि आप इसी वक्त रैनसम देर गन टू माई हेर ना आई टेल यू वे टू पिकअप हिज बॉडी हम ये बात करें शरिया की बात करें या जहाद की बात करें तो आपको और मुझे तो वो गोंटाना मुझे में बंद कर देंगे क्यों हाउ इज शरिया बैकवर्ड्स एंड नॉट क्रिस्टियनिटी एंड एंड द तोरा आई मीन फ्रेंकली स्पीकिंग एंड विद एब्सोल्युटली नो फेंस टू एनीवन हमारी किताब तो नाजिल हुई थी क्योंकि ये दोनों आउटडेटेड हो गई थी द फाउंडेशन ऑफ इस्लाम इज जस्ट जस्टिस दैट्स द फाउंडेशन ऑफ इस्लाम हक इट्स नॉट मेड फॉर द इलीट इट्स मेड टू एंपावर द पोअर एंड गिव देम देयर राइट्स दैट हैव बीन स्टोलन बाय द इलीट सो व्हाई वुड एनी लॉ दैट द इलीट्स मेक and branded as islam there to help anyone yeah so i i deen in ke khilaf tha i mean everyone in pakistan who has lands were given but it was all their protodies they were given lands by the british so it was given for kissing ass so, you know and now they are the custodians of our religion and constitution so aapke aapke ek ghar se char mna aur teen mp aa rahe to ek bhai noon mein ek bhai ppp mein ek bhai ye teeno bhai teen different talk shows pe teeno different parties ko galiyan de rahe hain aur ghar ja ke sare baith ke kehte hain how was your day brother <laughs> and he said tum like where the hell do you think you're going and i was just like i took his flash and cough and i was like just this is it like you kill me now man i'm done sometimes when i was being tortured i would be in and out of consciousness but really he was standing like with my like the people in that room like i could see him there what would you want to say to mumtaz qadri san if you could meet him and talk to him now assalam alaikum aaj hum ek bade interesting guest ke sath baithe hain um aap log inki story to jante honge sare aur unhone kafi interviews bhi kiye pichle saal date do saal mein logon ko batane ke liye aur aagaah karne ke liye unke particular journey ke liye aur uh, एक इंटरेस्टिंग बात है अगर आप उनका बैकग्राउंड सुने तो जनरल पॉपुलेशन उनको इतना पसंद नहीं करी ज़ाहिर एक वो अमीर वालिद के बच्चे थे हाईली एजुकेटेड थे लेकिन जो उनका एक्सपीरियंस हुआ है ज़िंदगी का जहाँ पे पाँच साल कैप्टिविटी में रहे हैं और जो उसकी ग्रोथ हुई है तो बड़े एक चेंज इंसान वो बन के आए हैं नज़रियात उनके उतने ही सख्त हैं जितने पहले थे लेकिन मैं चाहूँगा कि आप सब उनकी जो गुफ्तु है उसको बड़े तहमल से सुनिएगा और समझिएगा क्योंकि बहुत सारी ज़िंदगी में जो हमारे ओपिनियंस होते हैं वो हमने किसी के सुने सुनाए बनाए होते हैं बहुत कम लोग होते हैं जिन्होंने वो चीज़ें एक्सपीरियंस की होती हैं फिर ओपिनियंस फॉर्म किए होते हैं हम लोग जब टेररिज्म को अफगान तालिबान को उजबैकी मुजाहिदीन को देखते हैं तो उनको शायद एक रोमांटिक लेंस से देखते हैं क्योंकि हमने पर्दे के पीछे नहीं देखा होता लेकिन एक बंदे ने पाँच साल पर्दे के पीछे देखा है और वो इवेंट्स रिकाउंट करता है तो बड़े तहमुल से ये गुफ्तु सुनिएगा तो बहुत शुक्रिया शबाज भाई आपका आने का थैंक यू फॉर थैंक यू सो मच थोड़ा सा आपको ऑन द स्पॉट मैंने पुट कर दिया आपको सख्त ओपिनियंस <laughs> देने पड़ेंगे ठीक है um, जो आपका जनरल जर्नी है वो बड़ा क्लियरली मैप आउट हुआ हुआ है एंड आई बिलीव जो आपकी बुक है क्या कहते हैं उसमें तो बहुत अच्छे तरीके से आपने वो लिखा भी है और वो जाहिर है कोई भी ट्रोमेटिक एक्सपीरियंस लिव थ्रू करना आसान नहीं होता हमारे सियासतदान जेल जाते हैं दस दिन के लिए तो वो कहते हैं कि जो हमारे साथ वहाँ तशद हो गया तो उसके बाद हमारे लिए दुनिया को फेस करना मुश्किल हो गया आपके पाँच साल का जो कैप्चर का टेन्योर था उसके अंदर डेढ़ पहला साल आपका बहुत ही टफ था जब आपको फिजिकली टॉर्चर कर रहे थे और बहुत ही बेहुदा किस्म की चीज़ें हुई इन टर्म्स ऑफ आप कमर पे जो वो बार बार छुरियाँ भी मार रहे थे और वेप भी कर रहे थे और आपका फ्लैश भी आई बिलीव क्या कहते हैं काट रहे थे उसके बाद फिर एक ट्रांजेक्शन होती है इन आपके कैप्टर के घर जी और फिर थोड़ा सा आपका एक कह लें फिज़िकल हार्म का जर्नी बेहतर हो जाता है आपके जितने भी रिलेशनशिप्स थे अराउंड दैट टाइम आपकी वालदा होगी आपके भाई होगी आपकी बेगम होगी आपके बच्चे हो गए हैड दे गिवन अप ऑन यू सो ये एक्चुअली दैट्स अ गुड क्वेश्चन ऑल द पीपल जो डायरेक्टली मेरे से रिलेटेड हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैं आपको दो लोगों का तीन लोगों का एक्चुअली बताता हूँ मेरी वालदा और uh, सबसे पहले तो आई हैव टू टेल यू अबाउट हर आई हैव गिवन अप देर वर पार्ट्स ऑफ माय जर्नी पीरियड्स जहाँ खुद आई थॉट के ये इट इज गोइंग टू बी इम्पॉसिबल फॉर मी टू वेक अप टुमारो शायद मेरा कल नहीं आना ये ही मेरे आखिरी लम्हे हैं एंड इट्स सैड but it's a very harsh truth and reality that i'm seeing in front of my eyes mm. 
एंड आई रिमेंबर एक पीरियड एक पर्टिकुलर इंसिडेंट जहाँ मेरे किडनेपर ने मुझे मेरी अम्मी को फ़ोन कराया और मेरी और बेसिकली मेरी वालदा को कहा कि आप इसी वक्त रैनसम देंगी एंड यर गन टू माई हेड एंड वरना आई टेल यू बाई टू पिकअप हिज बॉडी तो शी सैड गिव माई सन द फोन <laughs> you have to understand ye ek na samajh you know he's a terrorist yeah. as well so there's very little room for you to start the yeah. yeah so when uh, mama ne phone liya she she just said something to me that it wasn't exactly hamdardi i it was it was a lot of things but it was also a yakeen that i can't explain because i didn't have it i was staring right into the barrel of the gun एंड शी सेट टू मी मैंने तुम्हें अल्लाह के हाथों में छोड़ा है तुम्हें कुछ नहीं होएगा एंड दैट साउंड क्वाइट डिलूजनल टू सम वन हुट दैट भारत एंड शी सेट नाउ गिव हिम द फोन गिव माई किड नैप ऑफ द फोन एंड आई लाफ अबाउट दिस लॉट बिकॉज यू नो समाइम्स वेन यू हैव दिस नियर डेथ एक्सपीरियंस यू फाइंड इट हिलेरियस आफ्टर वर्ड एंड शी एंड माई किड नैप स्टार इट गोइंग एट इट एंड ही सर आई टेल टेल यू वे टू पिक अप हिज बॉडी वो एक्चुअली वो नेगोशिएटर था ही वॉज कोरियन सो वो अंग्रेजी बोलता था ओके सो ही मैं तुम्हें बताऊंगा इस इसकी इसकी बॉडी तुमने किधर से उठानी है तो मेरी वादा उसको कहती है कि मैं तुम्हें बताऊंगी तुम अपने साथियों की क्योंकि उनकी भी एक लिस्ट थी ऑफ लोग तुम उनकी बॉडियाँ कहाँ से उठाना इट विल बी बॉडी फॉर बॉडी ये जो उन्होंने अपने दोस्तों की रिहाई मांगी हुई उनकी बात कर रहे हैं अब ये देखें एक आई थिंक अगर आप जो आई के लोग मेरी वालदा के साथ काम कर रहे थे वन वॉज यू नो दे व दे वेरी ट्रेंड एंड एम आई के लोग और दिस इज अ डे टू डे फॉर दैम सो उनके लिए दे नेवर गेट टेकन बैक इन हॉस्टेज नगोसिएशन but the, the man who was working with my mother was a, was a general i don't want to take his name but he was That's very fine. very close to he was very close to me and my family and and he said i have never in my life seen this this i have never seen mm. that you tell them body for body hogi matlab ki ye to bodyon ki care hi nahi karte but for some reason you know there was this link where it wasn't going to be body for body but jo yakeen tha us aurat ka ke mere bete ko kuch nahi hoga that kind of translated Tran- into you. Tra- Asa, then there were months mm-hmm. where I had no contact, where uh, security personnel from the ISI, from the military, from the MI uh, went to my mother, um, including very um, high position politicians, mm-hmm. that we know for sure he's been killed. How? Yeah, it's not that there's no contact. No, no. Drone strike was there. Okay, okay, okay. And in that. कंफर्म न्यूज है कि ये मार चुका है उस उस ड्रोन स्ट्राइक में ये मार एक डबल वैमी भी थी कि जिस इलाके में आप थे उस टाइम पे वहां पे ऑपरेशन हो रहा था अब वो तो जिस दिन से मैं पहुंचा एक्चुअली टिल द डे आई स्केप द उस सो एक्चुअली एंड यू नो दिस दिस ज़रबे अजब तो 2013 14 में, में शुरू हुआ था मगर स्वात ऑपरेशन ये ये लोग इधर 2000 आई थिंक 4 5 से घुसे हुए हैं एक्चुअली 2008 की जो पीपी गवर्नमेंट थी उन्होंने फ्री नेम दिया था ड्रोन स्ट्राइक्स को और सबसे yeah. ज्यादा हमारी हिस्ट्री में ड्रोन साइज उस टेन्योर में हुई है जो ज्यादा डेंजरस थी फ्रॉम लैंड अटैक वेल जस्ट जस्ट टू टेल यू दैट मियाँ साहब की गवर्नमेंट एंड नॉट दैट आई बाय द वे डोंट केयर फॉर दिस ड्रोन स्ट्राइक एंड थिंग्स आई 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 सपोर्ट इट एक्चुअली बट मियाँ साहब की गवर्नमेंट थी hmm. उसमें वो जेट और टैंक और दुनिया की हर चीज की स्ट्राइक थी उन्होंने क्या किया था कि जब दारी साहब की गवर्नमेंट में ड्रोन साइज की इजाजत थी उसके बाद आर्मी ने रिक्वेस्ट की थी लैंड ऑपरेशन की जब उन्होंने रिक्वेस्ट की लैंड ऑपरेशन की तो हम बहुत क्लोजली काम करते हैं यूएस इंटेलिजेंस के साथ यहाँ पे जो हमारी मिलिट्री स्टैब्लिशमेंट है तो फिर उन्होंने हर चीज़ ही खोल दी थी वेल जरब अजब का ये था कि ये हमारी वेपनरी थी दिस वॉज पाक द पाकिस्तान आर्मी जो अपने अपना असला लेके गई है सो यू नो दे वर टारगेटिंग दीज गाइज एंड मैं लाइक आई कैन टेल यू मीर अली एंड मेरान शाह तो उन्होंने ओवर नाइट दे गेव थ्री डेज यहाँ से निकलो and they wiped it out even the drone um strikes a lot of people have this thing ke humne kisi ko permission di thi but you know um, they, there are drones they're not american drones 
So it's very interesting so, that you say that. Like, yeah. What most people don't know is that there are two very popular drones, one Turkish made and one Iranian made, and we have both of them. Yeah. And also, Ukraine ko bhi humne supply ki hai, Iran. And also, uh, it's really funny because I've I've seen drones. Yes. Uh, they fly very low. Yes. They don't fly at the same yes. height as helicopters. So they, you can see a helicopter, you can see a, the drones fly fairly low, very but you low. can't hit them with a rocket launcher. You can hit them with an anti-aircraft, yes. of course, but they don't have that kind of technology. So it can't be hit with a rocket launcher in AK-47 unless you're at a particular height and it's flying, you know, for some reason it's flying very it's low. below yeah, and you can target it, which they have as well. And every time they have their videos of it, Celebrate can, that. That the agenda mm -hmm. on it is not US. Yes. So It's very interesting. Um, while there is a big problem of autonomy of the state as far as military action is concerned, but I think larger deals you at play hoti hain wo hame pata nahi hoti to hum ye chhot chhot ki baatein karke apne aap ko satiate kar rahe hote hain like my younger sister is very anti drone and she thinks okay. that hamare hamari jo borders hain wo violate ho rahe hain this is yeah. really so i asked her i was like okay it's an american drone let's assume right? let's assume yeah. it's okay. american where is the pilot where is he operating from where is he operating from miami how does it, what is what is a how does a drone work do you think that it just flies and navigates with a camera and catches the entire area there's on ground intelligence mm. so who would provide on ground intelligence in pakistan americans it's impossible they can't even step in these areas mm. you know so you know it's it's a three way link it comes from the ground to the drone goes to miami miami fort whatever approves and you know these things circle around for 7 7 8 8 days before they carry the surgical strike i think interestingly enough um jo isme thodi samajhne wali baat hai ke ye assume kar raha hai ke ek globalized economy mein jahan pe aap same side of the aisle ke andar hote ho intelligence sharing na ho ye nonsensical hai to clearly isi aur cia at some point intelligence sharing karte hain back and forth hota hai aur even ye bahut strong belief hai logon ka ke afghanistan ke case ke andar तो रॉ आई एस आई और सी आई इकट्ठे बैठ के बहुत सारी प्लानिंग करते रहे हैं किस तरह ऑपरेट करना है जब तालिबान की पर्टिकुलर वॉर चल रही थी इवन जब अमेरिका वहाँ से निकल रहा था तो ये सारे टॉक्स में इन्वॉल्व थे और निगोशिएशन हुई थी कि ड्यूरेंट लाइन के उस तरफ जो बेसिस हैं इंडियन एम्बेसी की वो ख़त्म किए जाए वो हो भी रही हैं और कुछ रह गई हैं ये गिवन बात है हाँ क्या हमारी फ़ौज ने थ्रॉट हिस्ट्री बड़ा अच्छा रोल अदा किया नहीं दोनों चीज़ें म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव नहीं हैं ठीक है बट आई विल सी रिम्बर मैंने आपको कहा था कि मैं थोड़ा प्रो हूँ द रीजन दर आई एम प्रो इज नॉट दर आई एम प्रो वॉ सो फर्स्टली वी शुड अवॉइड दैट बट देन वेन यू इन इट आई थिंक प्रसिजन स्ट्राइक इज बेटर देन ग्राउंड असोल्ट और एयर असोल्ट विच यू नो लाइक टू ड्रोन स्ट्राइक आई वॉज इन दारगेट but i've also been in multiple jet strikes i've escaped in mm -hmm. terms of in areas that have been hit by carpet jets, bombings by, yeah and pakistani jets and the thing is that it's probably the most horrifying experience of my life is running from jets because it is it is carnage it is like you know the sky has torn open like you cannot imagine the sound of those missiles mm. connecting and destroying the earth it's a it's a horrific experience and the running away from this is Very is terrible. yeah it's it's you know it's it it breaks you literally mm. every time you're in so much fear and and your heartbeat is racing you're not safe till they're gone and you know when when these missiles hit the way the shot you know wo train bhi phir aapko karte hain bachne ka dive kab karni hai it's insane which is why i thought that you know this precision based thing at least wo apne target ko mar rahe aur pure mahalle ko nahi uda diya unhone yeah, that's interesting like having experienced both you like this is more human yeah well like, human <laughs> comparison like compare comparison <laughs> yeah. like you would pick also then the place sathiyo assalam alaikum eon ka aapse wada hai ki hum kabhi bhi kisi ka aapko paid churan nahi bechenge aur apne content ko meyari rakhenge jaise ki aapko pata hai ki online space ke andar content creators jo hain wo bahut mukhtalif shaklon ke aqsam ke hain aur wo ajeeb ajeeb qisam ka churan bech rahe hote hain paid podcasts hoti hain sponsorships hoti hain wagaira wagaira to hum kabhi bhi aapko churan nahi bechenge agar ad bhi dikhayenge kisi product ka to koshish hogi ki wo ek jayad product ho jo se aap 
आप इस्तफ़ा ले सकते हैं और कोई किसी काम की चीज़ हो तो हमारे ये दो जायज़ अर्निंग के सोर्सेज हैं कि हम ऐड चला सकते हैं और आप जो मेम्बरशिप्स परचेज करते हैं इसमें आपकी सपोर्ट हमें दरकार है हमारी वेबसाइट खोल के हमारी मेम्बरशिप परचेज़ कर सकते हैं आप जिसके अंदर चार लाइव जूम सेशनस हैं और मज़ीद इन शाल हम कंटेंट उसके अंदर ऐड करते रहेंगे वैसे जो आप पब्लिकली कंज्यूम कर रहे हैं हमारा कंटेंट किसी भी प्लेटफॉर्म के ऊपर ये अभी भी, भी, भी फ्री है और लॉन्ग टर्म भी इन शाला फ्री ही रहेगा तो अगर आप वेबसाइट खोल के हमारी मेंबरशिप लेंगे जो उसकी मुकर फीस है अगर आप वो अदा कर दें या उससे बढ़ के दैर वुड बी नाइस crazy man two on X my right on your right yeah and th- and this is my neighborhood and these are the people that are being targeted sometimes they hit them with jets sometimes wo helicopter laate hain sometimes you know ye logon ne kisi nake pe suicide bombing carry ki hai ye tank fire bazaar mein open kar dete hain you know mm-hmm. so there's no remorse from either side in terms of how they deal you know ek banda suicide blast kar raha hai ek banda usko reply mein drone maar raha hai mm-hmm. um to mujhe matlab ye ये ये लाहौर में नहीं होता ये yes. इस्लामाबाद में नहीं होता yes. ये हमारे शहरों में हमारी सोसाइटीज में नहीं होता तो इस इस होल में इस बबल में रहने में और एंड टू हैव एन ओपिनियन इज सो इनसेन टू इवन से दैट आई प्रेफर अ ड्रोन आई मीन इट्स लाइक यू नो व्हाट्स योर प्रेफर्ड चॉइस ऑफ डेथ ड्राउनिंग और बीइंग सेट ऑन फायर इट्स इट्स लिटरली लाइक दिस एंड एंड द प्रो एंड द वन थिंग दैट आई जस्ट रिमेंबर इज हाउ आई यूज्ड टू प्रे व्हेन दीस things used to happen uh, yeah used to happen because that's jab wo allah wo kehta hai na ki tumhari jaan you feel it here and you remember us that wo those ayats i used to live by mm. ke meri jaan yahan tak pahunch gayi hai cuz it's so scary i mean they're just it's a war zone it's I mean, why do you think the taliban are the way they are like why do you think that entire region because it's both sides of the duran line so like ये वही करेक्ट के पाक लाहौर में रहते हुए हमारे वे एक्सपीरियंसेस नहीं हैं जो लेट से मरदान में रह रहे या के पी के क्या पर या फाटा में रह रहे है तो पाकिस्तान का हिस्सा पर सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक पाकिस्तान का हिस्सा नहीं है नहीं है तो इस पर्टिकुलर जोन में वाई वो उस तरह क्यों है वाई इज़ इट हैपनिंग फॉर द लास्ट थर्टी ईयर्स यू नो द इनिशियल थिंग वॉज इन दालिबान Hmm. the the initial thing was a battle it was a cold war between the US and Russia hmm. and they came into Afghanistan because you know their communist party was under threat in a, so there was no taliban on the landscape hmm. the actually the US along with its allies in Pakistan formed formed the mujahideen movement in yes. Afghanistan they funded it they formed it they gave the you know the gave weapons it. and trained it and all that and also jo aaj inki सोच की फाउंडेशन है the text the of the, uh, G, that's very important to remember as well. so the indoctrination that began began had not existed before this mm-hmm. in Muslims for a very very long time. Mm-hmm. and it was all for example Margaret Thatcher came down to Peshawar she was the British Prime Minister mm-hmm. and she gave a speech and she said that the Mujahideen is are going to save the world. you yes. people the Mujahideen who then went on those Mujahideen the ulma of those mujahideen uh, who created the taliban once all of these people left and abandoned them because they were abandoned after 15 years of war these people were abandoned and then there was complete chaos it was warlords um, any of these parties that the american supported or the uh, russian supported they'd all been dead in a 15 year war there's nothing is really left except mm. for warlords and complete chaos and mercenaries and killers and this had this had basically this was what afghanistan had become just a wild crazy place so the ulama of the mujahideen they were like you know we need some form of a government or some something here so they invited mullah umar to and then the the taliban means students of yes. islam or something so you know it's not like now talib ilm basically yeah, basically so it's it's the word sounds scary now when you say taliban oh my god oh my god but it doesn't mean that it like, it, 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 it means something very different yeah and they were called by the ulama who was supported by the west and pakistan to form now the thing is that the foundation of what they had done was a very uh, extreme and radical version of islam because what was required at the time that this was done was for men to give their lives mm. now i have seen men convince men to give their lives using islam and i have studied islam extensively and yes it in jihad and you know the prophet also did it and the sahaba did it and yes 
but not the way that these people do it. There is a manipulation here. It's very dark. Convincing a young boy to blow himself up, the prophet, none of his companions ever did this. As a matter of fact, they said, no, there's a circle of life. Pain, trials, jail, kaid, suffering is all part of it. And at the end of it, Allah will give you victory. Mm. You know? So, so it's very, it, it's violent, it's radical. And it's 15 years of war that these people are now coming together. After 15 years of war, you know, World War II only lasted for five years. Yes, that's true. So imagine a people, Afghanistan has been bombed and, has been bombed since 1978 and political conflicts before that. I could be 77 as well. I don't know yes. when the Russians went exactly, but in the 70s. Uh, conflict in Afghanistan started in the late 60s, when the internal strike. Internal, sir. There was a war there, basically. And in the 70s, 78, mein, I believe, Russia came. Russia came. Yeah. And today, in 2024, mein. Mein, America has been withdrawn. Yes, it's been two years. Right? Wait, so... So that's Trump never dropped, almost yeah. 40, 50 oh, years yeah, yeah. that this country has been in war and no other country on earth has gone through this. Recently. Or in its history. No, historically the whole war. War, yeah, yeah. but not like this, that targeted by the world, one country, NATO, United States, mm. all of this, Russia, you know, these superpowers with their super weaponry. Even mm -hmm. during World War II, they did not have this kind of weaponry, mm. you know. So the kind of weaponry that's been used in Afghanistan over the last 50 years, it's a crater. It's just a crater and anyone who lives there is like, you know, like, wo kehte hai, Ch Chernobyl mein wo mutated animal, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what you do to the people. The and mentality. that is what the Taliban are. When the Americans came, then their real holy war started. And they said, that our emirate has been threatened. So now they have fought radical jihad and fought. So now, you know, like it's now to... People are inclined towards it. People mm. who are suffering anywhere in the Muslim world have a straight ticket to Afghanistan. And they also have sort of like the benchmark. Ye bhi ho sakta hai. Like ye before bhi ho sakta. the Americans leaving Afghanistan, there was for the last hundred years no great Muslim victory. Bazaar. Ottoman Empire World War II ke baad collapse kar gaya. Koi major jang hum nahi jeete. Palestine was war uh -huh. Palestine was And the countries that tried, you know, the uh -huh. Egyptian, wo wo saar, unko bhi yeah. kar diya overnight. So, our first victory was in the first place. Like, if we look at the perspective of the Taliban, we will be able to do it. 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 Pakistani Taliban, Al Qaeda, and ISIS are not the same. Many different things. And their foundations, their thought, their functioning, especially Uzbek. It's another thing. Bayat, which is Afghanistan, is in the same way. It's not the Taliban. But the mode of operations is not exactly. And the SOPs of war are not the same. Exactly. Uzbek or Tajik or Daesh or Afghan Taliban are very different. Like Afghan Taliban, for example, uh, कहते थे कि हम ये अगवा और तावन नहीं करते नहीं मैं इसलिए तो मैं बचा हूं मगर शायद उनके सब्सिडरीज हों जो बहुत क्लोज हैं अफगान तालिबान की मेजर गवर्निंग बॉडी के जो करते हो जैसे उज़्बेक वो करते हैं उज़्बेक तो उनकी प्रोटेक्शन के अंदर वहां बैठे हुए थे कि अपने मुल्क में उनके ऑपरेशंस नहीं चल रहे बट और इस तरह थे अफगान तालिबान के साथ बट एक बात के ऊपर लोगों के जो ना दाईश के साथ ज्वाइन किया था तो बिकॉज़ एक्चुअली दाईश का बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग फिनोमेनन था कि दाईश Iraq की बातेस्ट आर्मी से बनी थी बेसिकली और हेविली अमेरिका फंडेड है आज भी yeah. और दाईश को बेसिकली सब दुश्मन मानते हैं इन टर्म्स ऑफ इसके फंड्स कौन देता है वेपनरी कौन देता है और फिर दाईश के पास जो जियोपॉलिटिकल एरिया भी है उसके नेचुरल एलाइज बहुत सारे बन गए hmm. अब खैर रिलेटिवली किल हो गई है दाईश बट जिस वक्त वो हमारे लोग थे that, that's you, you were the true. conquered. So, today we have that. Now we like, you know, like, um, I talk about my father wearing the Aitul Kursi. Mm -hmm. My father didn't do, um, 
like wo uh, bidiyat nahi hoti like he wouldn't do it. this somebody gifted to him yeah and he really believed that the words of the ayatul kursi are protection so when you used to say that maine ayatul kursi pehni hui it was more of saying ki main padhta hu and i really mm-hmm. believe in the power mm-hmm. of its protection not necessarily this thing that i'm wearing on my neck so i was just telling them that they were threatening me or something i was reading the ayatul kursi is like tumhe koi nahi bachayega i was like nahi ayatul kursi bachayegi mujhe bachayegi so he was like tumhare baap ne bhi to yahi kaha tha na fir kya hua so i studied it more i have a separate thing for that but what I, basically what i was just trying to tell you was that ye ek mockery thi na ke aap wo mujhe kehte the ke tum log ye but parasti ko tumne ye बिदत बना लिया हाँ, ये हाँ। सारी जो जैसे तुम कब्रों पे जाते हो और पीरों के पास जाते हो और मजारों पे जाते हो और किसी आदमी के पास जाते हो कि मेरी दुआ अल्लाह के पास ले जाओ ये तो क्योंकि तुम हिंदू हो तुम लोग मुसलमान नहीं हो एक्चुअली भाई जी बात सच है कि जो सूफी ट्रेडिशन ऑफ इंडियन सब है एक इलाके का जो प्री एग्जिस्टिंग रिलीजन होता है उसका इफेक्ट होता है तो फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये तरतारी जो है सारे उजबैक जो हैं ये सल्फी क्यों हो गए बिकॉज yeah, इनका जो स्पिरिचुअलिटी का बिलीफ था पहले टेंगरेन गॉड के साथ वो मैच करता था सल्फी बिलीस को तो ये नेचुरल होता है आप पूरी दुनिया में ईसाइत यहूदियत इस्लाम का स्प्रेड देख लें कहीं भी देख कहीं भी तो लोकल इलाके कल्चर का इन्फ्लुंस होता है वो एक बड़ी फनी स्टोरी मैंने पढ़ी थी बेसिकली वैन हजरत उमर बिन खताब कॉन्कर्ड इजिप्ट गवर्नर वॉज अ कॉन्वर्ट Hmm. and then became a trusted aide to you know they were going through a drought in egypt two three seasons of not very good so the governor sent a letter and he said do you mind if we just do that rain dance that we used to do three <laughs> four years ago so as a tumar bin khattab was like no you can't He's do like, that do mind <laughs> so you know but, but it it's it natural. they didn't even think that they were like you know we did it for like a thousand years and it used to occasionally work so such hai bahut sare sahabi hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam se islam accept karne ke baad kuch practice karte hum ye wo wali kar le ye wo karte niya bhi nahi kar sakte uski wajah hai ki thousands of years a culture wipe away nahi hota ye jo assumption hai ki bas aapne islam qabool kar liya hai to bas ab purani saari cheeze ye nahi hota with time wo cheeze evolve karti hain lekin जो फंडामेंटल डिफरेंस था उजबैक सोच में तालिबान सोच में और लेट से पाकिस्तान की सोच में वो ये था कि हम इन्फोर्सर्स ऑफ इस्लाम नहीं थे लाइक mm-hmm. आपकी पाकिस्तान देखिए एक बहुत बड़ी डिबेट और ये एक्चुअली नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ कॉन्वर्सेशन है पाकिस्तान एक इस्लामिक रियासत है या नहीं मसन एक तो है ना कि बाजार हम इस्लामिक रियासत है एक है कि डू यू रियली थिंक कि हमारा पूरा स्टेट एपरेटर्स इस्लाम का झंडा बुलंद करने के लिए खड़ा हुआ है क्लियरली नॉट जब सलमान तसीर साहब कहते हैं कि ये कानून काला कानून है मिसाल के तौर पर और सियासतदान ही खड़े हुए कहते हैं कि आपने ये कैसे कह दिया तो बंदा ये पूछे कि यार हमारा हर एक एक्शन पचहत्तर साल में कौन सा इस्लाम के हक में था राइट तो एक बंदे ने अगर कह दिया ये कानून काला है तो उसने कम गुनाह किया है अगर हम गुनाह के लेवल में भी लेते हैं बाकी जो कुछ हम कर रहे हैं वो क्या है इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कहते हैं कि जो टाइमिंग थी ऑफ योर फादर बीइंग मर्डर्ड या कहते हैं एंड यू गेटिंग किडनैप्ड इट वाज आल्सो और उसी आई थिंक उसके थोड़ी देर बाद उन्होंने यूसुफा गिलानी के बेटे को भी किडनैप किया था इट वाज ऑल्सो इफ के लाइक जितनी भी ये जिहादी तंजीमें थी वो सरकार को मसल ललका रही थी खुलेआम कि हम तो तुम्हारे अशराफिया के भी टॉप ब्रास के लोगों को उठा लेंगे मैं सिटिंग गवर्नर के या फोर्थ हुए गवर्नर के बेटे को फोर्थ हुए गवर्नर के and not fought murdered murdered governor murdered governor ke bete, bete ko wa karna hai. is riyasat ke upar thookna basically ah is sahi hai is sahi hai at least that's what they thought and it ah. does actually nee, the optics it, it, it is good. like that yeah, okay. the optics ye are not possible nahi hai ki ek bande ko wal sahab qatl hue aur pre uske qatl ke unko threats thi aur jis situation mein wo qatl hue highly sensitive matlab wo is tarah nahi hota na khas tarah ko car snatching mein murder ho gaye या गाड़ी का एक्सीडेंट हो गया इसने गाड़ी ने बड़ा एक खौफनाक और एक रिलीजियसली पॉलिटिकली चार्ज्ड मर्डर yeah. हुआ तो अगर उसके बेटे को प्रोटेक्शन नहीं फराम करनी तो फिर किसको करनी है yeah. तो मेरा तो वैसे ही ये ख्याल है कि पोस्ट योर फादर बीइंग किल्ड तो तुम लोग सारों को थ्रेट होगी फ्राम द तंजीम दैट किल्ड योर फादर उसकी वजह से तुम लोगों के पास प्रोटेक्शन होगी एक्चुअली तब टी इस तरह फॉर्म नहीं हुई थी टी ज़्यादा 
میرے اغوا ہونے کے بعد بننا شروع ہو گئی تھی انہوں نے یہ تنظیم نہیں ٹی ایل پی تو آپ سمجھیں کہ اس کا ایک پولیٹیکل ونگ ہے پر جو وہ پورا بریلوی مقبر کی تنظیم تھی وہ تو سلیڈیفائی ہو گئی تھی دی ازامشن وڈ بی کہ پولیس آپ کو سیکورٹی دے گی اس ایسپیکٹ یار وہ پھر میں یو نو آئی آلویز سے کہ سب کچھ لکھا ہوتا ہے یو نو پوری دنیا اللہ یہ کہتا ہے کہ یو نو دا ہول ورلڈ گیٹس ٹوگیدر اینڈ ٹرائز ٹو گیو یو سم تھنگ دیر آئی ہیو رٹن فیو ول نیور ریچ نہیں ہو سکتا بے شک سو آئی ہیو آئی ہیو نیور تھاٹ اباؤٹ آئی مین آئی انڈرسٹینڈ دا آپٹکس آر ناٹ گڈ بٹ پرسنلی فار می میں نے کبھی اس کو ایسے نہیں دیکھا کہ دس از یو نو ایف آئی ہیڈ سیکورٹی دے شوڈ ہیو ڈن مور آئی تھنک نو بڈی کوڈ ہیو ڈن اینی تھنگ ایز اے میٹر آف فیکٹ آئی تھنک گاڈ ٹک می تھرو دس جرنی اینڈ آئی ایکچولی بلیو ود my heart that maybe nobody else could have gone through this journey in my house um and sh- and, and shouldn't yes. have gone through it mm-hmm. thank god it was me right mm. um but for me it was it was a journey it wasn't a trauma it wasn't something like this it was a journey where i grew and i and i found god in a very different light and and so i realized that even if there was an army protecting me he's protecting me he's protecting me right now um mm. so you know maybe this is what he wanted maybe he wanted me to understand that all this you know uh, protection and all this these optics that people tell you they're really useless you know my father had uh, almost 50 guards around him when he mm. was murdered mm. and just one of his own guards did it and there were still 49 other people who could have done something but they were just startled and they couldn't do anything probably shell shocked yeah uh, you know clash and cough goes on in the middle of uh, islamabad cross the guard cross our market even the guards are like kya hua by the time they could react it was over he had you know one burst of a clash and cough is 4 seconds and you got 29 bullets in the guy so i you know i know how humiliating it was for the state but it wasn't something that they wanted and it was also not something that they could prevent necessarily ye bhi dekhe yaar انہوں نے مجھے بیچ ایم ایم عالم میں اغوا کیا پھر انہوں نے مجھے تین دن لاہور میں رکھا ہے برقعے میں اسمگل آؤٹ کیا انہوں نے آپ کا سسٹم آپ کے اگینسٹ یوز کیا آپ کے جو سیکیورٹی پرسنل ہے فوجی ہیں پولیس والے ہیں ان کی ٹریننگ ہے کہ یار ایک حجاب میں عورت کو عزت دینی چاہیے یہ تو میری اور آپ کی بھی ٹریننگ ہے تو کیوں نہ دیں کیوں تلاشی اس طرح ایک گاڑی کی کریں کچھ بھی نہیں ہے ایک وائٹ سی کرولا ہے اس میں آگے ڈرائیور ہے پیچھے حجاب میں عورت بیٹھی ہے جانے دو یار اور جنرلی ناکوں پہ خواتین کو روکا ہی نہیں جاتا ویسے بھی وہ کیا وہ بچارے اب دیر واز اے نیشن وائڈ مین ہنٹ لائک یو نو آئی ہیو اے فنی اسٹوری وہ ایک کرنل ہے ہی از ویری کلوز ٹو می ہی آلسو ورک ویری کلوزلی ود دا جنرل اینڈ مائی مدر تو وین آئی میٹ ہیم آئی نیور میٹ ہیم ٹل آئی کیم بیک سو وین آئی میٹ ہیم یو نو وہ ہگ ہی از لائک اٹس لائک آئی نو یو اینڈ آئی واز جسٹ ون اسٹیپ بہائنڈ یو تو ایز اے کرنل صاحب تو آواز دے دیں میں رک جاتا یو نو سارے لاف ہیں سوری But he, you know, he always says this as well, that Shabazz has this crazy outlook on his life and he feels like, like he always tells me, you should be a guard with you. And I'm Now. like, why? He also says that you should be a guard with you. So I was like, I have 10 years. <laughs> It's good enough for me. 10 years is his friend, who arranged this interview. 10 years, yes. We, so she works actually at Sunday, which oh, is my okay. uh, uh, media company. But when I started this, I didn't know how. to market i don't know okay. how to sell a product i don't know how to arrange things and uh, tenyat and the team at sunday was especially tenyat they've just been incredible in terms of guiding me okay. with social media with arranging making me meet people you know it's not like it's not easy mm-hmm. uh, especially if you're a bit of an introvert which i am in terms of i'm not overly com- i've become very comfortable that's good but i you know i'd prefer to be at home You know, it's chilling. interesting uh, that uh, a lot of people that go through trauma find it hard to tell the story after that. Yeah, so, that's, that's the... See, my grandfather told me that God has done something that you think about this thing and you feel like you are you feel like giving someone a lesson, like teaching them something uh, uh, nice. She's like, that's why I do this, because my mother told me that, you know, you should tell people your story because you're not really talking about yourself. You're always giving um, someone a little bit of hope and that's nice. And that's really, I, I, it's not a selfish thing. I don't do this for, I don't earn any money from this or anything. You know what I mean? I have my own work and I'm very happy with that. And, but it's nice. It's nice if even one person uh, feels they They, they learned something or they could maybe if they were facing a difficult experience or some kind of trauma maine koi baat ki bhi aur maine koi khud nahi apni baat ki bhi main to hamesha quran aur uh, you know allah ki protection ki baat karta hu 
and how you should seek it. So it's nice, you know, in that way. But coming back to the original point about about the failure of the security, mm. it, it is it's very humiliating. It was very humiliating for the state. It should be <laughs> the governor's son and then the prime minister's son yes. gets kidnapped. Um, but they really, you, you know, like these guys also. If you, I've seen them operate here. Yeah. एक हम कहते हैं ना निंजा और एक हम कहते हैं कमांडो तो ये तो उसको इस तरह खा जाए दे वेरी इंट्रेंस्ड इन पाकिस्तानी सिस्टम्स या एंड यू नो आई आई स्टिल रिमेंबर व्हेन आई वेंट इन टू अफगानिस्तान मैंने एक बच्चे को देखा था बकरियों के साथ मार्ट इन टू वॉर वो पत्थर का पहाड़ था इट वाज इट वाज लाइक दिस एंड वो बकरियां बड़ी उनकी अजीब एक तरीका होता है वो चढ़ जाती हैं ये ज़िगज़ैग करते जा रहे होते हैं मतलब फैक्ट के वो बच्चा भी ये कह रहा था एंड यू नो व्हेन आई जस्ट सॉ दैट एंड इट वॉज माई फर्स्ट डे इन अफगानिस्तान जो मेरा साथ बैठा हुआ था अंग्रेजी बोलता था मैंने उसे कहा था इसलिए इनको कोई नहीं हरा सका काइंड ऑफ कैमोफ्लाज इन साइड दिन इन जनरल सो या बट एनी वेज इट सो इट सो ईजी टू पिक सम वन यार ये ये एक बंदा भेजते हैं वो एक बंदे ने यू नो चेक पोस्ट पर फिदाई अटैक किया और दूसरे बंदे ने आपको उठा लिया वो उसके पास क्लैश एंड कॉफी और नॉट इवन ट्राई एनी थिंग यार सो इट्स सो सिंपल टू गेट यू दैट पीपल डोंट रियलाइज इट सो येस इट इज ह्यूमिलियटिंग फॉर द स्टेट इट्स फेलियर फेलियर फॉर सिक्योरिटी बट दे आल्सो वर्क अंडर ब्लैंकेट ऑफ कैम ऑफ लार्ज यू नो इट्स रियली डिफिकल्ट इट्स नॉट लाइक दे टारगेटेड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर और द प्रेजिडेंट विच दे हैव यू नो मुशरफ हैड सुसाइड अटैम्प जरदारी है जरदारी हैड मल्टीपल यू नो मुझे लोग कहते हैं कि जरदारी साहब आपके वाल साहब के जनाजे पे नहीं आए वो मैं उनसे कहता हूँ वो अपने वाल साहब के जनाजे पे नहीं जा सके उनकी इतना से लाइक जस्ट इमेजिन योर गवर्नर गेट्स मर्डर्ड यू डोंट हैव एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज वी डेंट नो वट हु दिस गाय वट हैज हैपन पोस्ट सारी बातें पोस्ट हफ्तों लगी इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड यू नो पुटिंग पीसेज टूगेदर एंड रियलाइजिंग दिस इज जस्ट एन इडियोटिक गार्ड हु इज राइल्ड अप बाई सम इडियट you know who's funny enough doing randan transmissions now so of tin if crash yeah, yeah. So just imagine actually very interesting hai ke the so that particular jamaat bilbi mugar fikr throughout historically had never actually been used as a violent tool in islam in fact the unka tagline tha ke hum dam durood wale hain bam durood wale nahi hain and then they go and do probably the most violent shit sorry the most violent particular act that they could have done reason for that is that by the way inki inki uh, sorry uh, yeah, ye jamaat ne nahi kiya inke itne they don't have the nuts sack to do it by no, the way no no main aapko wahi keh raha hu ke ye unhone ek random majlis pe ek idiotic individual ke dimag mein ye baat aake wo khud entice ho gaya and realize his own power he never told anyone he never spoke about it to anyone and he carried it in complete secrecy by the way so basically this idea that सेंट्रल निज़ाम है बेलवीज़म का जो जमात है दो कादरी सिलसिला है चश्ती सिलसिला है उन्होंने नहीं डायरेक्टली किया हाईवर बट वी फेल टू अंडरस्टैंड इस के प्री सोशल मीडिया की एग्जिस्टेंस द कोआर्डिनेशन बिटवीन दैम नॉन एग्जिस्टेंस तो पाक पतन में क्या हो रहा है कराची को नहीं पता और मुफ्ती नीफ क्रैश साहब पिंडी वाले इलाके से हैं और वैसी वो पूरी जो बेल्ट है बेलवीज़म में बहुत स्टीप टेस्टिज़म में स्परिचुअलिटी में बहुत बहुत गहरी है और थोड़ी सी अब एक्सट्रीमिस्ट होना शुरू हो गया नहीं नहीं वो जो इलाका है ना जब तालिबान का पहली जंग हुई थी रशिया वाली तो तालिबान के फाइटर उस गुजर खान पिंडी वाली बेल्ट में आके रहते थे तो दिस आइडिया ऑफ जिहाद और निज़ाम को बेहतर करना हमेशा एग्जिस्ट करता था और जो बरेलवी टेक्स्ट है अगर आप वो पढ़ें तो सबसे ज्यादा गुजर खान झेलम क्या कहते हैं <laughs> मैं मैं उस पर आने लगा था सो so बेसिकली so, आपका कहूटा वहाँ पे है ना yeah. बेस है तो वो है मतलब कि जितने भी पाकिस्तान के स्टूपर्ड काम होते हैं वो नॉर्थ पंजाब से मैनेज हो रहे होते हैं ठीक है ये एक अनफॉर्चुनेट रियलिटी है एंड एंड आल्सो बिकॉज यू नो यू इंट्रोड्यूस मी इन सच अंडरफुल बिगिनिंग दिस इज अ कोर प्रॉब्लम इन आ कंट्री इज दिस जी एच क्यू स्विच of yes. enabling this garbage yes. and the thing is that uh, i shouldn't get into any trouble saying it they've got videos of their uh, army personnel distributing cash to these guys to you know stop no protest cheez nahi hai and any time a politician for example jab asan ikbal in ke thode se wo against tha to narawal mein hamla hua they, they so used the card then they used it on imran khan they you know they this switches but this according is, to again this okay 
ऑल हमारी सारी सियासी जमातें ये स्टूपर्ड गेम हाँ, खेलती हैं ये नहीं समझ आती क्यों लाइक आई थिंक नाइन्टीज के बाद पी 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 और नून लीग को तो इस्टेब्लिशमेंट गेम खेलनी ही नहीं चाहिए थी फिर वो कोई गेम ही नहीं खेलेंगे ये ये बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग बात थी कि ये नीड टू प्ले द गेम ओवरवेलम करती है हमारे हक और बातिल की जंग को फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपको और मुझे बाजार नज़ारे एक चीज़ गलत है आकवाल साहब ने कह भी दिया कॉन्सिक्वेंस भुगते ठीक है उस पर्टिकुलर चीज़ पे पूरी जमात या पूरा वो पॉलिटिकल निज़ाम खड़ा क्यों नहीं हो गया नहीं हो सकता देखे ना वो निज़ाम खत्म हो जाएगा तो हो जाए ये पर... ये डिफरेंस है कि जो एक हम एक्सपीडियंसी की गेम खेलते हैं यहाँ पे कि फॉर द ग्रेटर गुड पचहत्तर साल से तो हुआ नहीं ये गेम हम कैद अजम के टाइम से खेल रहे हैं हमने भुट्टो के टाइम में खेली हमने याया के साथ खेली हमने मुजीब के साथ खेली हम थ्रो खेलते आए हैं मुल्क वर्स हो ही जा रहा है फाइनेंशली स्परिचुअली ज़्यादा डिवाइड हो गया तो क्लियरली ये एक्सपीडियंस ये गेम काम नहीं कर रही असल के जो आपका पर्टिकुलर जर्नी है जो वो हुआ है वो किसी के साथ नहीं होना चाहिए आपके वालद वाला भी और फिर बजाते खुद आपके साथ भी उसके बावजूद और ये कोई छोटे वाक्य नहीं है बस ये इस तरह नहीं है कि यार वैसे सड़क पर लड़ाई हुई किसी की ये बड़ा सेंसिटिव इशू है उसके बाद भी आपने सही फरमाया कि वो बंदा अब रमज़ान ट्रांसमिशन पे यानी कि उसको स्टेट अलाउ कर रहा है और कौर कौन कर रहा है और और भी बहुत सारे लोग हैं फॉर एग्जांपल इमरान खान रमजान ट्रांसमिशन नहीं कर सकता इमरान खान का तो नाम ही नहीं ले सकते आप कन्वेंशन मीडिया पे उसकी वजह है कि उसने उसने भी नाइन्थ में कोर कमांडर घर पर हमला कर दिया उसकी भी ताकत है तो अगर उसको बंद करा सकते हो तो इन इनको नहीं कर सकते क्या इनकी कोई एक्स्ट्रा कर... कल वो एक मेरा दोस्त था बड़ी फनी बात कर रहा था वो कहता है कि यू नो मरवत जो है उसके पास तीन हजार असला वाला है नो वन गोन मैस विद हेम नो आर्मी इज गोन मैस विद हेम भुक्ति साहब के पास कितना असला था आई थिंक लोग ट्रूली अंडरस्टैंड नहीं करते पाकिस्तान आर्मी की माइट और कैपेसिटी नॉट इन अ पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव सेंस जस्ट इन शेयर नंबर सेंस जस्ट नॉट बी स्टूपेड एक्चुअली नो वन हुजेंट हैड दिस पॉइंटेड एट देम अंडरस्टैंड द माइट ऑफ द मिलिट्री and actually if for god help you if this somehow is allah na kare allah na allah na kare ye ye to aapko overnight they'll finish it up the thing is that i like when i met bajwa saab i i like bajwa saab and imran khan ki government thi and uh, uh, sorry uh, this way that's fine like this yes okay right. sorry i i swear no that's fine um so jab uh, imran khan ki government aayi thi so i went and met bajwa saab and i liked him and he had his own ideas and things um but i told him a few things that you know i said that look as a pakistani i think we should have the right to criticize the army in some kind of i mean you guys are an institution of this country and it it shouldn't be considered unpatriotic to criticize you and he mm-hmm. said i agree with you I, mean, i i think that i mean positive, i agree with you right now when i'm sitting face to face with you yeah no, no, no he, he was like look positive criticism but he was like you know these at the time there was obviously political chaos uh-huh. with the ppp pmln and and these guys but i think you should be able to criticize the military on policy because mm-hmm. like if i can criticize imran khan on policy nawaz sharif on policy zardari saab on policy well, why can't i criticize the military because they also make policy and some of these policies actually uh, and a lot of these policies especially some of the laws that we're talking about are that they they forced these they they passed these laws mm. they were passed under a military dictator they didn't exist before this yes. these are old colonial british laws in ka islam mein to ye hukum hi nahi hai they're actually libel suit laws basically yeah, yeah, this basically. 295 is a libel suit law aur uski aakhri jo aapko milti hai wo australian common law mein milti hai like the closest association you can get वो खैर एक पूरी एक बट यू नो ये ये कानून इस्तेमाल हुए थे मुसलमानों को प्रोसिक्यूट करने के लिए क्योंकि हम ताकतवर वी मतलब ऐसे हम बट उस वक्त हिंदुस्तान में वी वर द रूलिंग क्लास एंड पर कैपिटा हिंदुस्तान वाले आई डोंट नो व्हाट यू कॉल देम वी वर मुस्लिम और हिंदुस्तानी थे हम आई डोंट नो क्या थे इंडियंस थे बट हिंदुस्तानी इंडियंस पर कैपिटा वी वर द रिचेस्ट पीपल इन द वर्ल्ड सो वी वर गवर्न राइट देयर वाज करप्शन इन द सिस्टम बट इट वर्क फॉर एवरीवन बट वी वर द टॉप we were the top so to bring us from here to here certain exercises had to take place aap ek musliman ko idhar se idhar nahi leke aa sakte to ye sare jo ab aapke kanoon aur ye jo aapko sari tarbiyat de rahe hain aur jo aapko raste bata rahe hain ye to ye inhone kiya tha to bring you here and to keep you here jo 
टू नाइन्टी फाइव सी का कानून है उसके अंदर चार आईज हैं हम अक्सर कहते हैं इनोवेंडो इंसिनुएट इन डायरेक्टली इनफर विच बेसिकली मीन्स कि जो कुछ आपको महसूस हो कि मैंने तोहन किया आप बीच में डाल दें और बहुत स्टूपट केसेस थे उसके अंदर और हनफी मज़हब के अंदर जो सही हदीसें हैं जिसके ऊपर इमाम अबू हनीफा रहमत ला ने कानून बनाया था वो ये है कि जो बार बार सरातन यानी कि माशरे में यानी कि फसाद फिल अर्द यानी कि एक बंदा लिटली अलाउजबिल्ला माशरे में खड़े होकर ललकार रहे हज़म वसलम को इस्लाम को बार बार उसके खिलाफ मुकदमा दर्ज होगा और उसके खिलाफ सजा होगी और, और इसकी वो भी दी हुई है दलील भी दी हुई है एक औरत जो मक् फतः हुआ था तो वो पोइट्री लिखती थी पैगम्बर तो उसका एक हुक्म दिया गया था और एक और दो मेजर केसेस बताते हैं एक प्रेगनेंट औरत का बताया था उस पर जब किया था और दूसरा एक मात्र का बताया था और फिर बेपना केसेस बताए थे जहाँ पे पहली दफ़ा किसी ने किया तो उसका हुक्म ये है अगर मसाद तौर पे अल्लाह ऐसे ऑबियसली ऐसे नहीं है मैं तोहन कर देता हूँ हजमत वसलम की तो हुक्म ये है कि मुझे मना किया जाए और कि मुझे आके मना किया जाए और आपको हदायत दी जाए ये ये वाला बहुत ज़रूरी हुक्म है अब इंटरेस्टिंगली इनफ टू सी सेटअप ऐसे है कि अगर आप टू सी के ख़िलाफ़ बात करें तो टेक्निकली आप तोहन ही कर रहे हैं राइट और उस पर हद की सजा लग जाती है जो बहुत बहुत अभी हम कह सकते हैं फनी है लाइक no, ये एक एक रिडिकुलस रिडिकुलस चीज है कि मुझे तो कभी कभी बात करते करते आप लूप में फंस जाते हो ये कंटिन्यूस लूप है ये कानून बना ही है ताकि मिस यूज हो इसका पर्पज ही इंटरेंसिकली ये है और इंजीनियर मोहम्मद अली मिर्जा एक स्कॉलर है झेलम से डोंट नो इफ यू हर्ड ऑफ एम नॉट उन्होंने बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग लिखा आई नो सॉरी इंजीनियर ये सारे कानून बेसली एंटी अहमदी कानून है ये ख़त्म नबूत कानून नहीं है ये सारे बने थे एक कम्यूनिटी को दबाने के लिए ठीक है क्योंकि उनके बंदे ने गलत दावा किया था कोई भी नबी नहीं होता वसलम के बाद लेकिन इनका पर्पज़ इनहेरेंटली ये नहीं था कि हमने कोई हजम वसलम की शान में इजाफा करना है उसके और बहुत तरीके हैं या हमने दीन का दिफा करना है इनफैक्ट इसका जो पर्टिकुलर पर्पस था वो ये था कि हमने एक कम्यूनिटी को मार्जिनलाइज करना है और उसकी भी बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग बात है कि अभी जो रिसेंटली काजी फाइजी साहब जो हैं उनके सामने केस आया था अहमदिया कम्युनिटी का जो उन्होंने डिसीजन दिया था तो उसमें जो कुरान एक्ट यूज़ किया था उस कुरान एक्ट की जो रूह है वो ये है कि गिवन तफसीर है कुरान की जो स्टेट अग्री करता है जो इसे डिविएट करेगा उस पर कुरान एक्ट लगेगा तो उसमें सारे मकबा फ़िक्र आते हैं वो सब डिविएट करते हैं बरेलवी भी करते हैं देवबंदी भी करते हैं शाफ सब करते हैं उसके ऊपर बंदा सोचता है कि यार ये कितनी डम कानून हमारे मुल्क में बनते हैं लेकिन हमारे सियासतदान को सपोर्ट करते हैं और वो कहते हैं कि अल्लाह के कानून है सबसे ये पता ये है दिस इज़ द रियल ब्लास्टमी कुरान के अंदर अल्लाह ताला ने कहा है कि अगर आपको पैगंबर इस्लाम भी कोई बात करे ना जो मेरे लफ्स के ख़िलाफ़ है तो आप उनकी बात ना सुनो और आप सोचें यहाँ पार्लियामेंट में ये चीज़ें पास करें इंसान अल्लाह के कानून आई थिंक जो पार्लियामेंट का कभी कभार लाइक जिसका अता तार साहब की प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस देखते हैं मैं सोचता हूँ कि इनका इनका जो लिटली आई क्यू लेवल इतना ज़्यादा नहीं होगा ही इज एक्चुअली वेरी स्मार्ट का बताते हैं खुद हों जब वो प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस देते हैं उसमें तो ये नहीं लगता पोलिटिकल दिस इज पॉलिटिशंस हैव टू एक्ट इन वेरियस सीनारियोज they have to this is the career you actually you and me can never understand it i i was just having this conversation with a friend yesterday and i was saying you know aapki training hui bhi hai to be a photographer and an art student meri training hui bhi hai to be you know uh, in accounting and 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 business and iski training isme hui bhi hai and so we understand these worlds and we have perspectives but humne na kabhi ek siyasatdan ko dekha hai na uski training dekhi aur uski to bachpan mein training shuru hoti hai mm. you know and it's it's a very different uh, you have to show yourself on the media separately then you have to show yourself with opposition separately then with your own people separately and then their camps inside so you actually never show your real face till you up look ghar nahi pahunch jata literally so uh, it's an act and i, I tar is uh, he is a very smart guy by the way he's a lawyer as well bada bada likha banda um and i think actually he might be a good information minister as well but i, I don't like hedging or betting no, on people that the, the but yeah the it's not a question of whether your policies are good or not is like the way you are presenting things jo aap arguments aur daleel de rahe ho aap itne stupid ho nahi sakte uh, jab baatein kar rahe ho you know saying jab siyasatdan deen ke upar baat karte hai na hmm. to 
it's very cringe. They're so illiterate about it, and mm. it's just farce and hypocritical garbage, you know. Mm. And it always happens. Hum to har, hum to dekhe isme, you know. It's like you just, uh, yeah, you know, namaz par kime. Yeah, I, I don't, I, 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 toba sakhrullah. I don't like speaking like this because actually, log mere saath hi baat karte hain. Really? Wo kehte hain ki ye kaidiani hai, ye kafir hai, ye Christian hai, ye Hindu hai. You know, I was kidnapped. मेरे किडनैपर समझते थे मैं कायदेन उनको यकीन ही नहीं आया कि ये आप सुननी हो मैंने कहा हनफी तो दे कुड बिलीव इट दे लाइक हम तो हमें तो बताया गया था तुम कायदेन हो तो आई हेट दीज यू नो के इनको तो ये भी नहीं आता और हर बंदे की अपनी होती है बट पॉलिटिशन स्पेशली स्पीकिंग अबाउट रिलीजन रियली पोल्स दे शुड एंड स्टेट एंड रिलीजन आर वेरी आई डोंट माइंड बींग गवर्नड um under say a form of sharia that we agree on and it's it's clear i have no issues with this i told you off this mm-hmm. that i'm a very conservative person and it's because of my religion and my faith and my own experiences and a lot of people have this uh, misunderstanding of sharia that it's some very backward and harsh but that's not true either and uh, for example the israel uh, israel right आपको पसंद है या मुझे पसंद है वो बात जरूरी नहीं है बात यह है कि वो एक मुल्क है और उसकी एक गवर्नमेंट है और उसका एक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन है और वो मुल्क एक सिस्टम में चलता है और वो सिस्टम तोरा बेस्ड है वो वो तो अपने बुक के ऊपर चलते हैं तो वो तो हमारी बुक से भी पुरानी है तो हाउ आर दे सो एडवांस एंड हाउ दे डूइंग सो वेल एंड हाउ डू दे कीप दैट मिलिट्री इन साइट आई मीन दैट मिलिट्री कैरीज आउट हरिफिक नेम्स हरिफिक एक्ट इन द नेम ऑफ द रिलीजन एंड इट्स ऑल इन द नेम ऑफ जैनज you know they're not doing it for the state of israel the state of israel is got a religious context and a jihad basically it's basically a zionist state yeah but 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 what they're doing is a jihad basically yes. for, of their yes. thing you yes. understand yes. ab hum ye baat kare sharia ki baat kare ya jihad ki baat kare to aapko aur mujhe to wo guantanamo pe mein band kar denge hmm. to main to ye systems chalte hain for example jab george bush was invading iraq he said this is a crusade then his advisors had to tell him you have to take the statement back but doesn't mean that he didn't know what he was saying no he knew what he was yeah doing. so you know he knew what he was saying he was so christian right mobilize karna tha right ko mobilize karna tha donald trump kya kar raha hai christian right evangelists aur in sab ko america mein wo kar raha hai kyun kar raha hai that's the religion hum logon ko samjhaya gaya ki aapka deen backward hai halanki hamara deen in dono dinon se zyada nahi hai i mean technically ha technically you know to aap kya baat kar rahe ho kyun how is sharia backwards and not christianity and uh and uh, the torah i mean frankly speaking and with absolutely no offense to anyone hamari kitab to nazil hui thi kyunki ye dono outdated ho gayi thi hame unhone milavte kar di thi actually ye wajah outdated yeah. ho gayi thi milavte they, they were um, they'd been confused man had interfered hmm. so thus this was given so why is this kharab hame to ye sikhaya when, when you look at in this lens i kehte hain ke and this was one of the questions ke pakistan ki jo identity hai बहुत सारे हमारे मसाइल हैं बिकॉज एक एक लैक ऑफ क्लैरिटी हमारी आइडेंटिटी क्या है एक तबका है जो कैद अजम की एक तकरीर उठाता है और कहता है ये तो सेकुलर मुल्क था एक तबका है जो कहता था यार इससे ज़्यादा रिलीजस मुल्क हो ही सकता था कैद अजम का ये वे इस्लाम पे बना है इस्लाम पे बना है असल वो खाद हुसैन रिजवी साहब फौत हो गए हैं मरते मरते भी यही कह रहे थे कि पाकिस्तान का मतलब क्या ला ला उनका ये पूरा नारा था लेकिन एक बहुत स्ट्रॉग ग्रुप है पाकिस्तान के अंदर जिनके पास काफ़ी पावर सर्कल के अंदर है जो बिलीव करता है कि सेकुलर कंट्री होनी चाहिए थी या होनी है या कायद अजम का विजन था इस पर्टिकुलर इशू पे ना हमारे सियासतदान बहस करते हैं ना हम कभी डिबेट करते हैं हालांकि आई डोंट थिंक इन नो बडी वुड इमेजिन का यू माइट बी द पोस्ट ऑफ बर्फ से शरीय नाफज होनी चाहिए पाकिस्तान में राइट right? बट ये एक बिलीफ है जो मोस्ट पाकिस्तानी अब ये कहेंगे कि इसका असल तालिबान निकला है <laughs> so, <laughs> ये जो आइडिया है ना कि आपके ओपिनियंस मस्ट अलाइन टू एग्जैक्टली वेर यू वर बॉन्ड इज जस्ट इन सेन राइट देर मेनी थिंग्स अबाउट मी दर एक्सेप्शनली कंजर्वेटिव एंड मेनी थिंग्स दर कू बी एक्सेप्शनली लिबरल बेसिकली एग्जैक्टली द सेम विच इज फाइन दिस डज नॉट मेक मी अ काफिर दिस डज नॉट मेक मी अ ग्रेट मुस्लिम दिस मेक्स मी अ मैन गोइंग थ्रू लाइफ ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड हो क्या रहा है क्या आज से दो साल पहले कोई इमेजिन कर सकता था कि मिलिट्री कोर्ट्स लगी होंगी पाकिस्तान के अंदर और उसका इस्लाम से क्या ताल्लुक खदीजा शाह जो है वो बारह सा महीने जेल में गुजारे मैं आप ये सोच नहीं सकते थे चीज़ें इट्स लाइक क्या मुझे कोई तीन साल लगता है क्या बकवास कर रहा है टाइम आई मीन शी इज शी इज द ग्रैंड डॉटर ऑफ अ चीफ ऑफ आर्मी यस मैं वो तो खैर एक पूरी सेपरेट चीज़ है ना 
نو بڈی کڈ امیجن دس نو بڈی کڈ امیجن وٹ ہیپن ٹو یور فادر مثلاً کہ دا ڈے آف وٹ ہیپن ٹو ہیم لائک وٹ لائک نو بڈی کڈ امیجن بے نظیر جس طرح اسیسنیٹ ہوئی تھی رائٹ نو بڈی کڈ امیجن عمران خان نے گھر پہ اٹیک کس طرح ہو رہا تھا بقاعد لگ رہا تھا کہ سیج ہو رہا ہے پرانے زمانے میں کسی پہلے سے اسٹوپڈ رائٹ پر معاشرہ اس لیول تک آ گیا ہے بکاز ہماری آئیڈینٹیفائر کوئی آئیڈینٹیفیکیشن ہم کون ہیں میرے میں اور ایک کے پی کے میں جو بندہ رہتا ہے کوئی کامنلٹی نہیں ہے ایکچولی دونوں لائک اس آئی ایم شیور میں آپ کو ایک فنی بات جب میں بھاگا تھا نا پہنچ گیا پاکستان تو آئی رائڈ ان بلوچستان تو وین آئی واز لیفٹ بائی دا طالبان میں تھوڑا سا پاگل ہو گیا I might have done like a little dance and like screamed and I don't know. But I quickly slapped myself like, Shabazz, you will come back to the world because you are in Punjabi and Balochistan. Now you are starting to get the issue. But why do you think this inequality and this difference exists? Because you have Hanafi uh, uh, Mazhab, which is by the way, one of four in, you know. In so, the Sunni fiqh. And, and in the Sunni, and then has nothing to do with say the Shia fiqh. So, They can't relate to it because they're completely different in that sense. And what about the Christians and I mean, like, what are you exactly trying? Then there's Baloch, Baloch, then there's KPK, mein different log, then there's Punjab, mein different, there's South Punjab, then Sindh has its own thing. And you're trying to put them under this one banner of Hanafi uh, uh, democratic concert. I mean, it, it's... ہمارے دین کو اس سسٹم سے دور کرو اپنا ایک سسٹم بناؤ ہمارے دین کو اس سے دور کرو کیونکہ اس کا کوئی لینا دینا نہیں اور اس میں کوئی بڑی بات نہیں ہے ایک فنکشننگ سسٹم یو تھنک کمپنی ایم سی بی آپریٹس ایز آئی مین دے آپریٹ اینڈ دے آر پرفیکٹ مینیج کمپنی اینڈ دے میک اے لاٹ آف منی اینڈ دیٹس ایٹ اینڈ اس کا اسلام سے اسلام اس مینجمنٹ میں نہیں آتا پرٹیکولر بینک ہے یا سو وائی کانٹ وائی کانٹ وی بی مینیج لائک آئی تھنک اس کے اندر ایک ایک وجہ ہے فنڈمنٹل آرگیومنٹ ہے کہ اسلام جس اوکے مشرف کے دور میں پوسٹ مشرف دور جس ڈاکٹرین واز اسپریڈ دیٹ اسلام اینڈ نظام آر سیپریٹ لائک اسلام از نتھنگ ڈو ود پالیٹکس یہ انلائٹن ماڈریشن کا پورا ویو آف کانسیپٹ تھا بٹ دس آئیڈیا کیا کہتے ہیں دیٹ اسلام از ناٹ پولیٹیکل از ایکچولی ناٹ روٹیڈ ان دا قرآن ان فیکٹ ان دا قرآن اسلام از ہائیلی پولیٹیکل بیکاز ہر فیسٹ میں دا پرابلم ہائی ایور از کہ پچھلے تین سو سال میں ہم نے کوئی پولیٹیکل اسٹرکچر نہیں بنایا کوئی فائنینشیل اسٹرکچر نہیں بنایا تو ہمیں امپورٹ کرنا پڑتا ہے تو ہمارا بینکنگ سسٹم آبویسلی فریکشنل ریزرو بینکنگ پہ بیسڈ ہے کیونکہ دنیا کا اس پہ بیسڈ ہے ہم نے اس کا آلٹرنیٹو نہیں سوچا اب کیونکہ ہم نے اس کا آلٹرنیٹو نہیں سوچا تو ہم اس کو جو قرآن اسلامک بینکنگ بھی وہی ہے جو فریکشنل ریزرو بینکنگ ہے نا وہ تو وہی فریکشنل ریزرو بینکنگ ہے لیکن اسلام کے اندر قرآن میں لکھا ہوا ہے کہ آپ کی سود خلاف جانگ ہے اللہ کی اور اس کو پھر ہم نے کنونشنل بینکنگ کے ساتھ میچ کرنا یہ ہو نہیں سکتا یہ اپوزٹس ہیں تو پھر وہاں پہ ہم ایک فتویٰ دے دیتے ہیں کہتے ہیں کہ اسلامک بینکنگ میں یہ شتم لگی ہوئی تو یہ جائز ہو گیا تو ایک ایک کمپرومائز کرتے ہیں ان کمپرومائز کی وجہ سے ہم میں کمپرومائز نہیں کرتے فالٹ لائنز بنتی ہیں نا پورا افغانستان آپ سے نفرت کرتا ہے بیکاز وہ فیل کرتے ہیں کہ آپ نے بٹرے کیا ٹھیک شاید کیا شاید نہیں بڑا آبویس ہے کہ آپ نے ایک پیسے لیے ایک مفاد کے لیے پھر پیسے لیے دوسرے مفاد کے لیے تو آپ نے ڈیوڈ لائن ان سیکیور کر دی ایران سے آپ مراسم نہیں بناتے کیونکہ اس کے دو میجر وجوہات ہیں ایک کیونکہ کرنٹلی ایران جو ہے وہ امریکہ کے نگیٹو ریڈ آر پہ ہے اور دوسرا کہ وہ شیعہ لارجلی پاپولیشن ہے حالانکہ آپ کے ملک میں بھی کافی شیعہ ہیں اور کلچرلی ہم کافی آئی مین جو واٹ از دا میجر ڈفرینس رائٹ ہم اس کی بات کر لیتے ہیں نماز پڑھنے کے طریقے میں فرق ہوگا کہ ہاتھ کھول کے پڑھنی ہے بند کر کے پڑھنی ہے حدیثوں میں موجود ہے کہ حضم صلی اللہ نے دونوں طریقے سے پڑھی ہے یہ ڈفرینس ہوگا کہ وہ بلیو کرتے ہیں کہ ظہر اور اثر کی نماز جوڑ کے پڑھ لیں مغرب اور عشاء جوڑ کے پڑھ لیں حضم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے بھی ایسے پڑھی ہے پڑھی بھی ہے سفر پہ کوئی بڑی بات نہیں نہیں وہ حنفی مذہب میں سفر میں ہے حملی اور شافی ویسے بھی پڑھ لیتے ہیں ان کے لیے یہ کوئی ایشو نہیں ہوتا ہمارے یہ والے ڈفرینس اتنے نہیں ہیں اگر آپ ان سب سے پولیٹیکلی بات کریں تو ان کے شریعت کا کانسیپٹ سیم ہوگا وہاں پہ یونیفائی کرنے نہیں دیتے بیکاز مجھے ایسے محسوس ہوتا ہے کہ جو ہمارے طاقتور سیاستدان ہیں طاقتور جنرل ہیں ان کو سوٹ نہیں کرتا کہ ایکچولی اسلامی نظام آ جائے yeah. ان کے اپنے امپائرس ٹوٹ جاتے ہیں اس لیے میں نے اب شروع میں ہی کہا تھا نا حکمران تو یہ ہیں hmm. 
تم بس ہمارے دین کو اس سے دور کریں اپنے نظام سے دور کریں اور ہمیں ایک یہ ایم سی بی ٹائپ نظام دے دیں جو ایک پروفیٹیبل فنکشننگ مینجمنٹ ہو آپ ہمارے دین یا اگر ہم ہم بیسکلی اسٹاپ مس یوزنگ مائی مائی ریلیجن اور یوز اٹ اپروپریٹلی وچ اینڈ بائی دا وے آئی ٹیل یو ون تھنگ وائی اسلام از سو پولیٹیکل بیکاز دا فاؤنڈیشن آف اسلام از جسٹ اٹس اٹس جسٹس دیٹس دا فاؤنڈیشن آف اسلام اٹس حق اٹس ناٹ میڈ فار دی ایلیٹ اٹس میڈ ٹو امپاور دا پور اینڈ گیو دیم دیئر رائٹس دیٹ ہیو بین اسٹولن بائی دی ایلیٹ سو وائی ووڈ اینی لا دیٹ دی ایلیٹس میک اینڈ برانڈیڈ ایز اسلام بی دیئر ٹو ہیلپ اینی ون یہ تو آئی آئی دین ان کے خلاف تھا تو یہی تو مسئلہ ہے اسلام تو نظام توڑنے والا دین ہے نا وہ تو کہتا ہے کہ یہ جتنے سسٹمز ہیں یہ انسانی سسٹم ہے ان کو ہم تو آئی اس کو توڑنے تو دس دس از مائی مین پرابلم دا تھنگ از آئی رن اے بزنس اینڈ آئی ہیو مائی مائی ریلیجن ہیز نتھنگ ٹو ڈو وتھ مائی بزنس آئی سم ٹائم ہیو ٹو بی روتھلیس ان مائی بزنس آئی ڈونٹ تھنک اللہ سے ڈرنا ایٹ دیٹ ٹائم آئی گو ہوم اینڈ ڈیفینیٹلی یو نو ہیو بیٹ آف اے ہمبلنگ ایکسپیرینس بٹ یو نو آئی ہیو ٹو رن اٹ اینڈ آئی ایم رننگ اٹ لائک دس and i am running it like this in a structured professional manner so that it makes money so just do that if i start bringing my religion and corrupting people and i have then pay someone a bribe and do this and i'm like oh no no my company drowns i'm in the rat race the rat race that i'm in i'm competing i my this is my uh, religion and my protection is from allah bas and i don't want you to interfere mm. but the fact that you that there is a confusion here that we think that you know wo taliban bhi has ke kehte the ki pakistaniyon ka masla ye hai ki jo tumhare alim hai na unke wo itne itne bade pet hote hain aur wo jumme ke din laddu kha ke na wo fatwa de rahe hote hain ki ya allah hamari jaan le de hame kashmir mein shahadat de to ek chhota sa bachcha uth ke kehta hai maulvi sahab laddu kha ke shahadat hi milni to kashmir jana hoga tan kashmir تو یہ وہ طالبان کہتے ہیں تمہارا مسئلہ ہی ہے کہ وہ قیامت ہوئے گی نا ایک حدیث ہے کہ اللہ تعالیٰ عالموں کو پکڑے گا پتہ نہیں نمبر نہیں قرآن کے اندر یہ ہے کہ تین لوگ ہیں جو یہ پھر حدیث میں آتا ہے کہ اس بیک مجھے ہنس کے کہتا ہے کہ اگر نائن ہنڈریڈ اینڈ نائنٹی نائن تھاؤزینڈ نائن ہنڈریڈ اینڈ نائنٹی ایٹ تو پاکستانی ہوں یو نو لائک دے دا اسٹیٹ یوز دیز پیپل اب وہ روہت لال کمیٹی کا آپ نے پڑھا جی آپ دیکھیں جو یہ آئیڈیا ہے پی ٹی آئی گورنمنٹ بھی ہوا تھا تھرو آؤٹ لائک یہ یہ اکراس گورنمنٹس ہے بس میں نہیں سمجھتا کہ کوئی گورنمنٹ اس چیز سے بھری و جمع ہے ڈرتے ہیں نا یہ لابی بھی بڑی مشکل ہے ایکچولی اس میں آپ جو جو ٹف بات ہے اینڈ آئی ہوپ یو این آئی ڈونٹ گیٹ ان ٹو ٹریول فار اٹ بٹ دا ٹروتھ از دیٹ دس از دس از دا ملٹری پرفرز اٹ لائک دس اینڈ ایز لانگ از دے پرفر اٹ لائک دس اینڈ انلیس یو ہیو اے ملٹری چیف آف آرمی اسٹاف ہو وانٹس ٹو چینج دس سسٹم ان ٹو مور پروگریسو اور پراپر شریا یو تھنک کہ آرمی نے بہت لائک ہر پولیٹیکل پارٹی کے ملٹیپل چیکس رکھے ہوتے ہیں جسٹ امیجن یو یو وڈ تھنک دیٹ سم لائک ایس این اقبال اوریجنل بلاسمی لا بٹ یو وڈ تھنک ہی وڈ بی گروسلی اگینسٹ کانسیپٹ آفٹر سفرنگ فرام اٹ نا I don't know if we can speak like this, but anyway, sometimes no, no, the, the controller says yeah. this is the line. I think it's a thing that like, uh, uh, the people who are living in the world perpetuate it. This is what we have seen in the world. The fact that, bhi, like, I'll be honest, like, I went to Aitchison and the entire goal was to study hard, go to university abroad, and preferably find a job outside. So let's say the most intelligent people in your community are going into sectors of finance and banking and XYZ or forming industries. So, your jitna intellectual thought is going to material gain, pe ja hai, which is fine. It's necessary for an economy. But a person of an intellectual thought, spiritual leaning, so that the development or tafsir or teaching of Islam is through an intelligent being. Ho rahi ho. As opposed to the worst person, like, ہم پنڈوں میں ایک کانسیپٹ تھا کہ جیڑا 
ਬੱਚਾ ਨਾ ਪੜ ਸਕੇ ਖੇਤਾਂ 'ਚ ਨਾ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਸਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਮਾਮ ਲਾ ਦਿਓ ਇਹ ਇੱਕ ਬਕਾਇਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਇਨ ਤੀਜ਼ ਕੇ ਤਹਿਤ ਚਲੋ ਇੱਕ 10000 5000 15000 ਕੀ ਰੋਜ਼ੀ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਸਕਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਕੀ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਆਪਕੀ ਅਕੈਡੀਮੀਆ ਡਿਗ੍ਰੇਡ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਕੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਜੋ ਆਪਕੀ ਲੈਸੇ ਸੋਸ਼ੋ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਕਲ ਅਕੈਡੀਮੀਆ ਬੜੀ ਅੱਛੀ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਵਕਤ ਸਾਥ ਲਮਸ ਕੀ ਵਜ੍ਹਾ ਸੇ ਆਈਬੀ ਕੀ ਵਜ੍ਹਾ ਸੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੀ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਵਜ੍ਹਾ ਸੇ ਜੋ ਆਪਕੀ ਅਕੈਡੀਮੀਆ ਇਸਲਾਮ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਕਮਜ਼ੋਰ ਹੋਈ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਕਮਜ਼ੋਰ ਹੋਈ ਇਸਕੇ ਕਾਊਂਟਰ ਪੇ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਤੇ ਵੇ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਤਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਮੁਝੇ ਤਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਰਾਈਟ ਵਿੰਗ ਥਿੰਕ ਟੈਂਕ ਕਾ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਤਾ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿ ਸਕੂੰ ਕਿ ਯਾਰ ਅੱਛਾ ਇਹ ਇੱਕ ਕੰਜ਼ਰਵੇਟਿਵ ਥਿੰਕ ਟੈਂਕ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਪਾਲਿਸੀ ਫਾਰਮਿੰਗ ਪੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਮੁਝੇ ਤਾਂ ਵੈਸੇ ਲੈਫਟ ਵਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਥਿੰਕ ਟੈਂਕ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੋਈ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਮੇਂ ਲੈਫਟ ਵਿੰਗ ਥਿੰਕ ਟੈਂਕ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟ ਕਰਤੇ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਤੇ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਜ਼ੇਰੇ ਬੈਸੇ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟ ਕਰਤੇ ਹੈ ਰਾਈਟ ਵਿੰਗ ਥਿੰਕ ਟੈਂਕ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਤਾ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਭੀ ਆਪਣੀ ਥਾਟਸ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜ਼ ਉਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀਤੀ ਆਪਨੇ ਕਭੀ ਨਸੀਆ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਕਾ ਸੁਨਾ ਹਾਂ ਹਾਂ ਉਹ ਆਈ 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 ਮੀਨ ਦੇਰ 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 ਬੰਦੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ actually have to visit them at the rasa and i really like the uh, thought, con- behind the thought behind yeah. it the concept behind it it's so progressive and it's good kids from good houses smart in their fields they have dunya and uh, deen together in a very coherent and like it, it it's very it's ma- like, like all you can say is mashallah you know that's like, good it's good but it's the only one that i know of yes. i don't really know of any other then we have the tablighis those are different under, they operate ha uh, different they operate even though it's the you know like it's one banner mm. but and there were some phenomenal people uh in the tablighi jamaat by the way amazing minds and business but again just concentrating tablighi jamaat ka bahut class 2 3 wala purpose hai class 2 is in a primary ka purpose hai ਕਿ ਆਪ ਨਮਾਜ਼ ਪੜ੍ਹੇ ਇਹ ਕਰੇ ਇਹ ਕਰੇ ਉਸਕੇ ਬਿਯੋਂਡ ਇੰਟੈਲੈਕਚੁਅਲ ਥਾਟ ਵਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਉਹ ਆਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹਤੇ ਉਸਮੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਹ ਫੀਲ ਕਰਤੇ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਫਿਰ ਹਮ ਹਮ ਓਪਨ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਕੋ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੈ ਟੂ ਕ੍ਰਿਟਿਸਿਜ਼ਮ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਵੀ ਅਲਾਓ ਥੀਸ ਰੈਡੀਕਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਲੀਮੈਂਟਸ ਟੂ ਟਾਰਗੇਟ ਅਸ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਵਾਂਟ ਇਟ ਦੈਟਸ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਉਹ ਬੋਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੈਤੇ ਨਾ ਐਸੀ ਇੱਕ ਇਹ ਦਿੱਕਤ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਲਾਈਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਨਸੀਆ ਇਜ਼ ਯਾ ਉਹ ਮਾਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਅੱਲਾ ਉਹਨਕੋ ਯੂ نو ਗਿਵ ਦਮ ਸਟਰੈਂਥ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਵਿਲ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਔਨ ਬਟ ਉਹ ਦੇ ਰੀਲੀ ਟੈਕਲ ਡਿਫਿਕਲਟ तो करना चाहिए देखें कुरान का जो पर्पस है इस्लाम का पर्पस है कि वो ब्रेकर ऑफ चेंज आपको दिलेर बनाता है अभी हमने जितनी यहां گفتگو की है और तकरीबन हर पॉडकास्ट के बाद हम बात करते हैं क्या करो डाला आ जाएगा ठीक है तो हम कहते हैं जब वो आएगा तब देखी जाएगी लेकिन तब तक सोचना नहीं है बोलते हुए जो चीज सही लग रही है वो बोल देनी है अब हम आते हैं पर्टिकुलरली पैलेस्टाइन के इशू पे कि वो एक ऐसा इशू है जिसने मुल्क को थोड़ा डिवाइड किया है इस दफा व्हिच इज वेरी सरप्राइजिंग एंड ऑड फॉर मी कि यहां पे कोई भी प्रोटेस्ट ऑर्गेनाइज करना है या पीएसएल में पैसे का झंडा लेके जाना है तो बहुत एक डिफिकल्टी थी व्हिच इनिशियली आई कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड फिर थोड़ा सा जब आप डीपर देखते हो दुनिया में क्या हो रहा है हमें और सऊदी अरेबिया को कहां अलाइन किया जा रहा है इब्राहिम अकॉर्ड्स के तहत तो समझ आता है कि डीप स्टेट मुल्क में क्या कर रहा है लेकिन इसका बैकलैश इतना नहीं हुआ लोगों के अंदर और सॉर्ट ऑफ लोगों ने एक्सेप्ट कर लिया रियली ट्रेजिक um i think uh, agar if imran khan was here this would be very different and i and i know people criticize him a lot mm. for various things but i think he would have not on he, this issue on this particular issue and on a few other issues um but i think you know that's the problem of missing someone like him and to try to take someone like him out of the political system uh i'm all for uh, let them screw each other you know someone they imran khan did it in hmm. 18 they did it now this is yeah, to, this, this is the way the cookie crumbles but to but har bande ki phir khubi bhi hoti hai for example um, kal twitter ke upar wo shafat ne mujhe shafat ali the journalist he messaged me and he said you know uh, there is a girl she requires a treatment i was like i'll pay for it Ki, kya hoga so he's like it's 2.1 million dollars and he was appealing to the sin government is that
you know troubleshooting or solving these kind of issues so whether it was that little girl i, I was thinking yesterday that you know if i if i could have reached out to him right now he would have actually known how how to do this exactly who to approach who to what approach, to say yeah, which yeah, yeah. foundation you know i've got a guy in london i've got a guy mm. in america unse phone karo wo tumhe ye kar denge wo but he's not there and then of course this palestine issue is exactly the same i mm. think you know with the ppp they need to be in the good books of the the, the uk and the us government mm. i feel like noon league didn't really care for that for a long time except for the uk and the saudi part and the yeah, to us part. ko appeal kar rahe us ko bhi appeal kar rahe so they don't want to be politically incorrect but you know i lived 5 years in a war zone and uh, the the people who protected me were my kidnappers family and i saw them all bombed and killed and how, whatever however their life played out and uh, i couldn't protect them and i could never you know do anything to to help them but mujhe mere dushman nahi hamdardi dikhai thi and uh, i just i just feel like uh, in this particular thing like ideally what would you want the government to do like let's just say like hum there's there's realm a realm of yeah, reality chhod gaye you know the thing is i'm not a military guy and i'm not a government guy but i would tell you that i mean you're a nuclear power so what what do you have it for if you don't have any i'm not saying you bomb someone no no i understand saying, you mean i'm just saying that you, you have to be able to sit across the table with these big countries and be able to have a serious conversation like stop this you know like china can do it russia can do it yeah india does it. india does it bricks bana rahe hain wo bricks bana rahe hain because there is power to stop a war i mean sit on a table yeah you do it again you're going to have a serious issue why do you issue? think hum nahi kare like like political parties hum identify kare kyu nahi par hamari military establishment i wonder if you become uh, very uh, used to war you know it's been so easy for us now mm. could be happening like in like, like one of the things that i realized jab main waziristan mein tha yeah ye to basically mere mohalle ke bahar mere shehar mein hi tha you know agar is tarah hi tum dekho so i didn't even know about this how illiterate like how blinded or privileged in a bubble are you that you don't know mm. there is a full out war zone in my country yeah in several places in several it's not places. one it's one, like one place and it's a huge yep. area of you know yep. if if this is my country this area is war that's not cool that's weird that's weird if you think about it it's like and it got me over here i was here but this affected me here and then it took me here <laughs> so लाइक like, मैं जब इंटीरियर सिंध जाता हूँ लाइक like, जब आप मोटर वे लेते टू द साउथ एंड यू एग्जिट पंजाब से लाइक मैं कहाँ वेरी फनी जो बिकॉज यू नो बिलावल इज गुड फ्रेंड एंड कासिम गिलानी यूसुफ रजा गिलानी सान इज अ गुड फ्रेंड तो जब मैं पहली बार मैंने ये यूज किया ना तो यार वेन यू लीव कराची एंड यूर ऑन दिस मोटर वे यूर रियली ऑन ऑन योर Your, it is the wild west. Planes are safer yeah. than cars. Uh-huh. So this is the living experiment of that. Uh-huh. And I have given them a very funny picture. They have given me a lot of things. 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 They have and then we're driving and it's this horrible drive and dhaka 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 and then you enter sak multan ek dam se like acha hum sham ko pahunche na to jo multan expressway ka gas station tha neon lit uh, uh, all the uh, the signs for petrol were all electric yeah, yeah, yeah. and right here was sakar <laughs> पंजाबी The fact that education has permeated throughout the province, development is testament to the fact that despite whatever the feudals want, you can do it. If there is will, it will happen. It's not like it's possible. I know some. I know some very backward Punjabi feudals. No, I'm so sure they are very anti-educated. Like they don't like. They don't. None of them like. Then you know, it's that sure. same thing. Yeah, blood sang on the border. Be honge. Ah, uh, well, I I I never give a name. Nilita, but you know, for there are some families in South Punjab which are very progressive. Mm. 
uh, then there are these old uh, people that aren't as well and of course the sindhi ones are the Bal- baloch ones are quite awful but it's very different be. and so are the the my friends in uh, kpk you know do you think that this should have been land reform in pakistan like not, not the one that was carried out both the yeah. difference is but like actual land reform in pakistan yeah i think so i i don't believe in um, this land i don't mind if if through commercial means you own property so for example i'm 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 one of the largest commercial property owners in pakistan that's okay i have accumulated that through development but kharbo murabbe inherit karna generationally maybe because maine nahi kiya so i am bitter you know they always say jealousy is also a form no, of flattery the question uh-huh. is how how did they accumulate those lands how so did they get so i mean lands? everyone in pakistan who has lands were given but it was all their patodis they were given lands by the british yes. so it was given for kissing ass so, yes. you know and now they are the custodians of our religion and constitution so and they actually something. became the first political class of pakistan yeah. i mean you know a long time ago mera ek dost hai uh, a great guy long time ago we did a show i had a channel called business plus and yeah, yeah. we had khatija shah on it as well oh, okay. and uh, my friend we were very young we were in college and we were talking about what are the problems in pakistan and 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 the thing is the basic problem in this country is feudalism that is the core problem and then of course where there was feudalism there's it's given birth to this you know right yeah, military establishment and other hard problems but the, this is this is a core problem mm-hmm. these are the people few string pullers who manipulate systems and keep you kind of regressive as well mm-hmm. you know uh, just remember when uh, governments break who goes on the other side mm-hmm. you know uh, the feudal class here yeah, that, that shifts continuously and governments and mm-hmm. shifts It's like fifty or sixty. The feudal class can you continuously government forming or breaking me apart? Breaking me apart, right? Then historically, historically, historically. You think they get the uh, the reason why this land class is maintained is because it falls with the establishment narrative of controlling governments again, like Sara. Usi lens me ho ra. This is these are the electable. Who yes. do you think the electables are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, no, no. <laughs> we yeah, can't. Yeah. I can't be bought. They're not interested in buying me. Interestingly enough, the party of great uh, liberal change is. This is my best actor. It is the people of People's Party. Me, it is. कि आप पार्टी ऑफ ग्रेट लिबरल चेंज हो आप जुस्कारली भुट्टो बेटेड इलीट क्लास जो उनको सपोर्ट करती है नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट जो उनकी पिंडो देहातों में सपोर्ट है वो डिफरेंट वजह से कि यू सपोर्ट दैम बिकॉज लाइक वो वाहिद लिबरल ग्रेट चेंज की पार्टी है पर लिटरली वो पूरे पाकिस्तान को थ्रू अ फ्यूडल लेंस देखते हैं थ्रू अ फ्यूडल लेंस वो इलेक्ट करते हैं और हर चीज़ होती है so how do you equate the two to iska kya jawab nahi hota fir pti ke bhi is tarah ke masle hain noon league ke bhi is tarah ke fundamentally actually ye koi bhi kuch nahi kar sakta in is power particular, problem particular vote bank ke bagair hmm. ye aur ye is tarah divide hua hai taqseem hua hai parties mein okay you know what i mean yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. to ye ye yaar karodon matlab lakhon log hamare mulk mein karodon log in logon ke niche rehte hain unki livelihood in pe dependent hoti You know, so they say, what is the agriculture sector in Pakistan? I used to say 90 percent in the 2000, but now it must be 70, 80 percent, or 70 percent of your. Who own, is that? 70 percent owned by 250 million people? No, no. I think 22 families. There you go. Yeah. So, you know, interestingly enough, and 22 families, you know, is very interesting because वो एक बाप होता है, तीन भाई होते हैं और तीन बेटे होते हैं. So it's actually eight seats from the इलाका. Mm. तो आठ आठ नेशनल चार उनमें से पांच नेशनल असेंबली की तीन प्रोविंशियल असेंबली की तो ये एक किस्म का कब्जा होता है hmm. आपके आपके एक घर से चार एम एन ए और तीन एम पी ए आ रहे हैं इंटरेस्टिंग इंटरेस्ट होते सारे डिफरेंट पार्टीज में आ, सारे हाँ, एंड्स हाँ, करते हैं दैट्स द हाँ. थिंग तो एक भाई नून में एक भाई पी 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 में एक भाई ये तीनों भाई तीन डिफरेंट टॉक शोज पे तीनों डिफरेंट को गालियां दे रहे हैं और घर जाके सारे बैठ के कहते हैं हाउ वॉज योर डे ब्रदर यू नो दिस जाना था कि पूरा एग्री सेक्टर पाकिस्तान में ना साल का बीस अरब टैक्स देता है कैन यू इमेजिन doesn't look like sound like a lot i think that's what mia you know, mancha paid just right now yeah, like, that's what mcb just paid mcb paid 20 arab jo real estate industry hai jo pichle 30 saal mein formulate hui hai wo to ko zero hum dete hain yani hum bahut dete hain acha and well commercial real estate earnings but not like it's a vastly untaxed sector you don't understand like it is untaxed to its potential yeah 
लाइक लेट्स से अगर इफ इट्स फाइव बिलियन डॉलर ईयर टैक्स इंडस्ट्री सही है तो हम प्रॉब्लम वन पॉइंट फाइव बिलियन डॉलर देते हैं बट द प्रॉब्लम इज के ये जो एग्री का है जो एट्टी परसेंट इकॉनमी है ये सिर्फ चौदह अरब रुपया देते हैं हाँ दिस इज हाउ दिस दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन पाकिस्तान के और जो वक्त के साथ वाजे होती जाती है कि ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी तो चलेगी लेकिन अपने सहूलत कार छोड़ गई <laughs> उनका आइडिया ऑफ गुड फाइनेंस ये है कि यहाँ से पैसा कमाओ और पैसे यहाँ से लेके जाओ और लॉस को फैसिलिटेट करो मोबिलिटी ऑफ कैपिटल की आउटफ्लो को <laughs> प्रॉपर्टी वाले हमें क्यों पसंद आते हैं वो पैसा यहीं लगा रहे होते हैं ये <laughs> आपने एक प्रोजेक्ट किया फिर दूसरा किया तीसरा किया जब आप फौत होते हो ना तो बारह प्रोजेक्ट हुए होते हैं और सारा पैसा यहीं पर होता है <laughs> हाँ कुछ परसेंटेज बाहर होती है किसी ने दुबई में कोई प्रोजेक्ट बना लिया लेकिन आपका पैसा उस तरह हाँ कैश नहीं जा रहा होता है एक्चुअली आपको इधर सौ प्रोजेक्ट करने होते हैं बिफोर आप दुबई जाके प्रोजेक्ट हाँ, बनाओ यूजली घर होता है अपार्टमेंट ले ली फ्रॉम योर प्रॉफिट बट अगेन दैट योर प्राइमरीली लाइक यू नो मेजर बहुत लोग कहते हैं कि वाई यू है यू नो मेरी रोजी रोटी इधर है यार मैं कहीं नहीं जा सकता हाँ शायद थोड़ी सी प्रिवलेज ज्यादा है मेरी रोजी रोटी में मगर रोजी रोटी रोजी रोटी होती है तो मुझे एवरी डे फॉर इट जो काम के एथिक्स हैं वो यहाँ के आते हैं मैं जाके बाहर कहाँ पर याद करता फिरूंगा हायर मी यू नो देर तू ताजी तेरी रिटायरमेंट आ गई भागो यहाँ से राइट नाउ सो वी डूंग राइट नाउ लाइक इन टर्म बिजनेस so uh, we have uh, pace uh, pakistan yeah. which is a real estate development company okay. and we have we work with zameen on sales and marketing okay. and so it it's basically an a to z solution of we buy the land develop the project sell the okay. project manage the project okay. that's one we have media as well but media is is, is a shrinking industry it's i'm you pretty part much losing money at this point i think well no not really I, uh, actually uh, my brother and i have were very smart in two in both these businesses and like financial services this country has suffered my brokerage you know i am in financial services as well so that you know inflation and money markets and i am affected by that i can't run away from it but with uh, with pace and with uh, with uh, media times we took some very clever decision so with media times i think when the new york times which was the first print paper to go digital when they went digital i was like you know there's something about the industry leader that you know if they're going digital there yeah, must be a reason it's definitely a form and it, and it also means that they realize something which is that the print industry is dying and so they're doing it now mm-hmm. and they're charging for online subscriptions so this are. is a method that we need to, now you don't need to do that because views and you know all this pays different now. revenue stream but yeah. different revenue streams and also uh, and like you are पहले कह रहे थे कि यू नो समा इज यू नो यू नीड लाइसेंसेस एंड सैटेलाइट एंड अरबों रुपए का अरबों रुपए का ऑपरेशन वेयर एज दिस एंड वी माइट गेट मोर हम जब आपको बता दें कितने पैसे लगे हैं हमने तेल का बट आल्सो द रीच द फैक्ट दैट वन गाय नाउ फ्रॉम हिज हाउस कैन रीच मिलियंस ऑफ पीपल थ्रू यूट्यूब इट जस्ट इट चेंजेस दिस मीडिया डायनामिक नाउ सो हमने भी उसको हमने मीडिया को डिजिटलाइज किया और यूट्यूब और फेसबुक I mean, the only thing I use now is YouTube. Like that's it. I love YouTube. So like, all I do is like just to research and watch stuff. I'll use YouTube. I think the first time the social media app was in my phone was then the team said, "Okay, you download TikTok." TikTok, me, is a little bit beyond. Now I say the, the entire point is to observe our TikTok page. Or so, what views are there? What posts are there? All that stuff. So that's the only other app I have. I think I have a tenth hazard. I don't know where she's gone, but yeah. she, I think she has TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 it's, it's too. I'm forty. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, it's that. difficult. Now even uh, understanding. So it's actually very weird. Yesterday I went to an iftari TikTok for you, and there, 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 फोजान इज नॉट अ पॉडकास्टर वो लेके गया मुझे एंड लुकिंग एट एवरीबडी देर आई फेल्ट आई फेल्ट इट आर डिट लाइक आई फेल्ट स्टूपिट आई लुकिंग लाइक 
ये क्या बात कर रहे हैं ये क्या कर रहा है हरकत ये कैसे तस्वीर खींच रहा है एंड देन आई रियलाइज क्या कहते हैं दैट द मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन एंड दिस टाइज इन द पैलेस्टाइन थिंग एक्चुअली रीजन वाई वी डेंट हैव सच अ विसरल रिएक्शन टू इट इज बिकॉज इट्स नॉट अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ परपेचुअल वॉर इट्स जस्ट अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस बेसिक डोपिन हिट दैट एवरी वन इज गेटिंग कल हम बात कर रहे थे नाइनटी लाइक ये सब बच्चों को ए डी एच डी हो गया ना सो दे हैव अटेंशन डेफिसिट डिसऑर्डर एंड एंड एक्चुअली इट्स अ ग्लोबल प्रॉब्लम आई एम लकी आई मिस दिस आई वॉज बिजी गेटिंग टॉर्चर बट यू नो दिस स्टाफ इज सो इफ यू जस्ट लुक एट हाउ दिस टिक टॉक एंड यू कैन जस्ट एंडलेसली यू जस्ट कीप स्क्रोलिंग 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 अच्छा देन इट कम्स टू लाइक you know like these paid like i don't follow some of these accounts you know it's paid like retro computer yeah, 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 suggested yeah. for you yeah, yeah, yeah. you know fifa 98 lagayi bhi usne world cup na you know suggested for you and suggested for you something about manchester united ben affleck sneakers i'm like ye aaya kaise hai main to you know sometimes you like where is this then i obviously this ka ai itna tez hai you start you and me talk talk about something so yeah, pick up and start advertising you it. did talk about like football and all that stuff earlier on or some point they get there during these podcasts that you've had because i saw some of the old podcasts you did you talk about how a guard used to watch manchester united yeah, with them and stuff yeah. the ai picks the microphone picks it up immediately abhi main aap mein baithe baat kar rahe hain kehte hain about let's say you know these mugs are fantastic what says company on your shelf blah 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 suggested me on your shelf page aa jayega unbelievable it's insane like if then people like hamari video tips kaise ban jati hain <laughs> no, so, but but this is why you never care for Palestine. You you Or don't anything, have time. Really. Yeah. And your your attention is got a fifteen second span, mm. and you'd rather watch Beyonce. You know, hips don't lie than uh yeah. or, or sorry Shakira. I'm bad sorry. with all this, but you'd rather watch a fifteen second clip of that than watch some child getting bombed in Gaza. And this is strategic. This is strategic. You know what? This 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 last thing that you said that this is strategic. I'm pretty sure all your liberal friends think you're crazy right now. No, they they do, but I keep telling them. I'm like, w- w- it's so funny, you know. What was the problem with Afghanistan and Iraq? The war. Like, I went to protest the Iraq war in London. Mm-hmm. I was a student, and I think there were a million of us in the streets. And now, abhi bhi there were a million students who came for Palestine. for Palestine. Yeah. But what is the difference? I didn't have this device. You can't. You couldn't distract me from something that riled me up and made me want to go. You have young kids, right? Okay, so what what is the like? You you see this as a problem, obviously. Like I think problem. most of us do. I I am helpless as a parent. This bloody thing mm. is crack cocaine for human beings, mm. and वो गुस्सा हो जाते हैं यार. They react as if someone. वो ऐसे करते हैं कि पता नहीं अब्बा ने हमारी जब अब्बा और मामा में फर्क ये है कि मामा is firstly mama younger than me, and she okay. is digital. एज बॉन्ड जेन जी राइट सो शी तो उसको तो ये सारा इस तरह इस तरह समझ में आता है ऑनलाइन ऑल द टाइम या एंड ऑल्सो शी वुड नेसेसरली थिंक दैट देर इज रियली एनी थिंग रॉन्ग विद यूजिंग योर फोन या लाइक अगर बच्चा खाना खा रहा है तो उसको यूट्यूब देखने दो अगर मैंने बच्चे को खाना खिलाना है ना मैं भी उसको यूट्यूब लगा दे मेक्स माई लाइफ ईजी को खा रहे हैं ना Yeah. But the thing is, I'm fundamentally against you because I started studying it. You know, your logon ki yahan ungliyan teedi ho rahi hain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thing, I, I have a slouch, so it's not because of this. No, I know that's but, because when you were jail, yeah. Yeah, but I, I, I hate it. But I have actually seen people's necks evolve into this. Like I'm like, you know, I'm going to a chiropractor to fix this. Okay. But I've never seen someone unfix. Like forward hair. Yeah. I don't. Like I don't know how you're gonna un. Why do you wanna un? So, anyways, we were talking about it yesterday that you know, बच्चों uh, में ADHD is uh, is crazy. It's like ninety percent of kids now have ADHD. And you're like, what the hell, man? It was like five percent of children when I was growing up, mm. and it's because of this dopamine overload. Mm. And this is there is there is a strategy behind doing this. It is to numb you and to distract you in one second. Imagine protesting for Palestine on social media. Like, it's insulting. Mm. for the palestinians who are being bombed right now you know it's interesting <laughs> that um to use social media to get people together for something makes sense but 
ٹو لمٹ یور سیلف کہ یار ہمارا جو اسکوپ آف انفلوئنس ہے وہ یہی ہے تو ہم نے یہیں بیٹھے رہنا ہے دیز آلسو این ایشو آف کہ جس طرح کیپلسٹک مارکیٹ ہائپر کنزیومرزم کی طرف جا رہی ہے to have a sedated population that keeps buying. Buying. Achha, which that's is the great. other thing. Yeah. Uh, you know what you were saying about the suggestions. So, abhi do yeah. suggested posts. Ek football ka tha, ek Ben Affleck ka tha, aur teesra wala jute khali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm a sneaker bad oh, man, okay. right? So, the, it's, it's gotten to a point where literally the color that I want is popping. <laughs> like, every day at night, I get there, like, once the kids are asleep, me and my wife sit for like 20-30 minutes and We are supposed to sit to talk, but it's normally just like some random things we are doing. And while we are talking and having a conversation, at the same time, she keeps scrolling Instagram and it annoys me. I'm like, you don't have to use Instagram here. And she's like, yeah, she doesn't have to buy things with her. And it's like, tuck, 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 just like buying stuff. And it's not like really expensive stuff, thousand, fifteen hundred, two hundred. It's not like, just like ridiculous things. And I'm like, what is it? دس پیر آف جوتے ہیں بچوں کے لیے یہ ہے یہ کرتے کراتے کمیونٹی ول بی لائک ٹوئنٹی فائیو Would you have bought this stuff if you if didn't you have didn't a have phone? phone no. Like, no. I mean, because the effort to go to a store every time was so much that you're like, do we really need this, like mm. this conversation? I actually have a friend who just built a house. So when I went to my house, I was like, oh, this is very lovely. He's like, it's an Insta house. What does that mean? Yeah, I was like, what the hell does that mean? He's like, everything that you see here, I took on off Instagram and worked with the, the interior guy and the architect. It's, everything is from some like people's houses from Instagram. Like wow. photo. So there's nothing unique about yeah, it. So he's like, it's an Insta house. So I was like, oh, I mean, it's cool. Like, okay, cool. But there's no like, you know, like I remember when my parents were building the house, there was this aesthetic like sense that went into it. Like architect, who is it? Materials, what is it? We have to give it a look. This is generational. Hai. You know, like, وہ آرٹ پیس کہاں سے آنا ہے پوری دنیا وہ جاتے تھے دونوں گھومتے تھے کہ ہمارے گھر میں لائک اتنی سی کوئی چیز فٹ آنی ہے بٹ ہیز ٹو بی لائک یو نو دیٹ دے ور ویری لائک دیر برینس ور بٹ جسٹ ٹو سم آل آف دیٹ پروسیس آپ تھک مجھے یہ چاہیے بٹ یو نو بٹ وے ایز دا کنوینئنس از آ دیر آئی فیل لائک اٹ دا مین تھنگ از اٹس لائک یو نو سم بڑی یوز ٹیلنگ می سم تھنگ دیر از اے تھنگ کال اونلی فینس وے یو پے لائک Yeah. I mean, they do anything for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and we were talking about this strategic distraction and I was like, I mean, I guess this wasn't enough. It wasn't because yeah. you get used to it. Now, so the problem with being an addict is after <coughs> the first couple of months, you get used to that dose. You have to up it. Up it. So OnlyFans and basically it's celebrities and arm log that basically do, I would say, pornographic requests for you if you... pay them money is like ten dollars twenty dollars thirty dollars forty dollars and because everything now is online you can purchase anything so it's basically literally you accessing whatever you want and this dominion if you remember like when we were younger the idea of feminism used to be very anti-porn anti-prostitution mm. right in the last 10 years it's become like sort of pro-porn and pro-prostitution and i i was not part of this shift like mentally So like barely you could say that you're a feminist as an individual because you believe that women should have the right to equality, they should work right to work, blah, 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 and should have ownership of their body and uh, aapka rape laws were one sided. You could say these things, but now you can't because it's what pro body positivity and body positivity under they've basically made nudity a part and parcel of it. And secondly, they've sort of pushed this idea that autonomy of body of a woman can only be exercised if you prostitute yourself. Yeah. Because that's true autonomy. And OnlyFans is a byproduct of it. This idea that is quite insane because literally men are paying to own your body. So that digital image that you send them, that video you made is ownership of your body that I have bought for $10. Right? Or $20 or $30. Again, strategic. Because what is yes. feminism, right? And it, what is it's real crazy. liberalism or real conservatism? Yes. These are all movements to empower individuals. So how do you stop movements that empower individuals by corrupting them? You hijack them as much hijack as you can. Hijack these movements, yeah. right? So even with when we were talking about uh, of, of it in terms of religious context, mm. right? Hijacked. Mm. Um, so all, all you know, uh, if you look at uh, the, like, a, 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 I mean, he's a scholar. I don't know who he is. He's a British guy. He came here to speak in Lums and he said, you know, Muhammad Hijab. Yeah, he said, yeah, you know, Hijab. feminism didn't come from Pakistan. But he couldn't have been wronger because you right. know, this part part of the world has had some of the fierce, uh, you know, fiercest women 
कम आउट एंड एक्चुअली बिफोर इट वॉज इवन इन द वेस्ट इधर औरतें खड़ी हो गई थी अंडर द ब्रिटिश राज टू फाइट एंड फॉर इक्वालिटी एंड वोट एंड यू नो थिंग्स आई दिस सो बट इट इट इट्स अ वेरी प्योर फॉर्म इट्स 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 अ स्ट्रगल फॉर इज्जत यू नो मेरे हक और मेरी इज्जत और वो इज्जत क्या है डोंट डिमीन मी डोंट यू नो लुक डाउन ऑन मी बिकॉज ऑफ माई जेंडर आई हैव द सेम राइट द सेम राइट टू एजुकेशन द सेम राइट टू वर्क द सेम एक्सेस वही होना चाहिए एक्सेस मेरा वो होना चाहिए वेज न्यूडिटी डिट नेसेसरली हैव एनीथिंग टू डू विद इट ऑल दो दे वुड से दैट हु दैल यू टू टेल मी वॉट टू वेयर बट मतलब हर चीज का दायरा फ्रॉम गोइंग फ्रॉम Don't tell me what to wear to being pro nudity. Yeah, this is a jump. Yeah, this is again. This, this is, is insane. These are Western uh, corruptions. Into... I think that's what Mama said. I've actually been because I was at that talk. Luckily oh, okay. enough. So basically, he said that. I just saw a clip of. Yeah, it. I know this idea that we have adopted of modern day, like third wave neo feminism, right? That you is not a Pakistani idea. It's not even a Muslim idea. And then later on in the talk, he relates to the fact that as Aisha Zitlana went to war and has a career used to build a business, so there's enough literature for women empowerment available to in you. The, yes, yes, yes. So this is the metric. He also said for men, he said, "Don't follow Andrew Tate." Right? Who's basically social media influencer? I don't know if you're aware of him or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, he's I, like I, I, top G. Yeah, yeah. he's like Somebody that. Is, told me you're the Andrew Tate of Pakistan. I was like, "Yeah, I, I don't have a six pack. I'm not fully bald yet, and you know." Yeah, like, No, I, I don't mean, have a nice car either. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's a good, good comparison yeah, yeah, at so all. Yeah. Because Andrew Tate ko idealize karna aur usko hero manne ka matlab hai ki aapne history ka kuch nahi pada. Haan. Ye toxic to chhod jaa to kuch nahi pada. Ye wo thoda sa bahut hyper masculine nahi hai, thoda bodybuilder UFC. Azad Umar Azad Talan ho. ठीक है अजत क्या कहते हैं मोहम्मद सल्लम सखाल बिन वली रजी तला तारक बिन जयाद सलाहुद्दीन यूबी औरंगजेब अब आप पास बहुत सारे लोग हैं जो उससे बहुत बेहतर हैं हाँ जिनकी पूरी पूरी जिंदगियाँ हुई हुई हैं द रीज़न वाई इज़ अगेन द रीज़न वाई एंड टेट की पॉपुलरिटी इंक्रीज करती जा रही है वे टाइम जाते हैं इज बिकॉज उसका एक्सेस आसान है ना वो टॉप जी की आप बारह सेकंड की वीडियो देखें डोपिन हिट लें और और जाएं बट एक्चुअली वो रिलेटेबल भी नहीं है वो जो बातें कर रहा होता है वो तो बड़े एक अमीर और बादशाह मर्द की बात कर रहा होता है जो ये काइंड ऑफ चीज़ें एक्सिक्यूट कर सकता है यू नो यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेल ऑफ टू हैव अ वोमन बी डिपेंडेंट ऑन यू टूडे अदरवाइज दर इज नो वे यू कैन टेलर घर पर बैठो मतलब मतलब आम बंदा ये कर नहीं सकता तो ये एक्चुअली ये भी इसका एक बड़ा is basically he is actually so uska jo mantra hai na ke we are escaping from the matrix so duniya ki matrix hai wo aapko aur entrench kar raha hai wo kya keh raha hai kya course bhi mera khareed hai course bhi khareed hai aap paise kamaye money makes you part of the matrix so for example yeah. let's say you run a business pakistan with a sort of 100 million dollars not to say that he's worth a 100 million dollars right please <laughs> <laughs> this has happened to me before right? that the <laughs> business is worth a 100 million dollars so you have more to lose now hmm. right So everything that you do, every move that you make, every step that you take is watched and monitored. So your pie is much bigger. Or in Pakistan, if a military establishment, we have a lot of other rakhe bati hoti hai. So your freedoms become limited. So the more money you actually accumulate, you don't escape the matrix. Escape you the become matrix, more entrenched in it, right? Yeah. So this is the reason why Nawaz Sharif has to keep coming back to Pakistan, right? He has to be regulated. Exactly. It's very hard for him to. फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैंने आपको बताया कि लाइक हमने 40 साल से प्रॉपर्टी का काम था हमने डेढ़ साल पहले बंद कर दिया कोई सवाल जवाब नहीं नो बडी केम इन सैड यू टू डू दिस बिकॉज देर इज अटन अमाउंट ऑफ फाइनेंस दैट बियॉन्ड विच यू मेक अंडर सर्वेंस टू फॉर द इंटायर वर्ल्ड ये आइडिया के जेफ बेजोस एंड इन मस्क है बॉल ऑफ अ टाइम विद देर एन एस ए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सवाल ही पैदा नहीं होता लाइक दे लिव इन दिस कॉन्स्टेंट fear and this con surveillance i mean you went through an exceptionally brutal phase of that surveillance in your five year capture and what happened to your father but in a lesser degree shape or form i believe that nawaz sharif is a prisoner zadari is a prisoner malik riyaz is a prisoner these are not free people i am free well, i don't know malik riyaz i think he's he's a kidnapper <laughs> well you More. think he's gamed the system he's gamed enough? the system yeah right. uh, so i think he but yeah but you know even a kidnapper or or a, you know once i remember mere kidnapper ko mujhe bataya ke main you know the reason i haven't killed you is cuz tumhare udhar aaye sai pass mere sathi hain mm. so i looked at him and i was like you should have never told me that so he looked at me is like if i were you i wouldn't worry about me killing you you know 
we're both in this under the same sky so you know sometimes the uh, the captor and the captive are in the same did you have like uh, these kinds of moments of realization where you just like looked at the person and like this guy is just stuck yeah, yeah. right I, i yeah i'll never forget um even when i escaped it was very like dramatic in terms of i'd lost it because i was in a room with some women and they were about to blow themselves up so okay. one of them walked out like literally this door and blew herself up and mai udhar tha and i sometimes you know you can have enough and i'd had enough and i ran out and there was a war going on and not understanding what to do and mohammed ali grabbed me and and he said tum like where the hell do you think you're going and i was just like i took his clash and cough and i was like just this is it like you kill me now man i'm done you either kill me or let me go yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and and you know um, my god he was talking to a uh, a dawar i realized it in that second as well because he was like let him go we're go- like we have to fight okay and we're like there's death everywhere so just forget him right now this is the last of our concern and he couldn't like it's, it's like char arab or sathi char arab or sathi and then i mean i ran away and i cli- i went through this f- jungle and river and climbed up a mountain and i got caught by the taliban on the mountain right back down the mountain through the river jungle back to my uh the, my uh, village that i was in and the first thing i saw was him a muhammad ali dead and uh, i just thought how the fuck did he die before me you know i i have spent so many nights reading the kalma and reading the aitul kursi and reading my akhri nafal and then my akhri nafal and now my akhri nafal and now my akhri nafal and it's been 1600 days and how did he just die before me before me like he's dead and uh, yeah but you know sometimes um, you feel like you're in control but you're really you do know. you sometimes when you're telling these stories and like uh, you're talking to people like nobody can relate right do you feel alone i don't feel alone um i feel alone i i felt very alone when i was there i know it's it's such a horrible uh, you know i always i try to tell people that you know i can explain my physical torture to you mm. i can even give you examples and and they might sound horrible like when i tell you that i had all my nails pulled out that sounds horrible horrible yes but if you have played football i'm sure you broken a toe nail and the doctor has had to pull it out and there's no two ways about it you just mm. have to kind of have a wo chhota sa chak karke nikalta hai aur nikal aata hai aur ye haddi jo hai ye bas idhar tak jati hai yeah. aur jab aap nikalte ho to itna sa nail nikalta hai andar se और बहुत दर्द होती है यू यू नो अगर आप मेरी उंगलियों के इधर देखें ये जो रेडनेस है mm. ये वो नर्व्स हैं वो ओवर एक्सपोजर के वजह से दो दो बार एक एक उंगली का किया कमर तो इज यू नो ब्रूज द या वेल आई से लाइक अ मैप अच्छा बट अम सो आई आई यूज्ड टू फील रियली अलोन एंड बट नाउ व्हेन आई एम लाइक आई हैव टू बी ऑनेस्ट विद यू even when i speak about it i feel like shayad main ye baat nahi kar raha pata nahi kahan se baat aa rahi hai i can't remember that guy i can't remember that pain mm. that's a blessing and a miracle on its own because when i was there i, I would look at my face and i didn't know who i was it was very different image jo main tasveerein dekhi hain then meeting you now they get there it's like it is zameen aasman ka farq hai you know and and for me it feels like shayad wo koi aur zameen thi aur main abhi kisi aur aasman mein literally okay. I, it's not just not i can't remember this pain mm. um i can't remember that loneliness but i do know how extreme it was and what it took out of me so now like you know we've been sitting here and talking about this yeah. you know and i don't feel like like maybe my experience is something you can't relate to but the fact that you can understand it and we could talk about it mm. i don't have that feeling of loneliness mm. I, i connect i'm actually connecting with you on my experience and that has had an amazing um it, it's healed me a lot as well it's helped me a lot as well in my life to settle back down to start my life again i've also had setbacks because zahir hai zahir hai everything is not smooth uh relationships friends uh, a lot aap badal jate ho 
as a, as a human being. Magar, uh, but I don't feel alone. And as a matter of fact, I've never uh, felt so um, connected. C- connected, I, yeah. And and it's you know, I'm I'm hustling, but I can't get enough of my family and my friends and my children. Like you know, mm. they're probably sick of me. <laughs> but uh, yeah you can't i i i i think the most wonderful uh, gift that allah gave me was that i don't feel alone when i speak about this experience it's a very lonely it was a very lonely experience you know i'm also very lucky i wasn't friends with heather gilani our families know each other hum family friends hain but meri personal one on one dosti jo kehte hain na rishtedar hain family friends hain milte hain khano pe baithe hain age difference bhi hai main bada bhi hu unse bahut to magar ab hamari jo dosti hai is based on that loneliness and pain you know we we when when we hug we kind of hold on to each other a second longer um but that our friendship is because of that loneliness and that that pain, association that, that association of, of it so i know how we feel you know like how we hold each other you okay mm. you know you need anything it it comes from a different place than it comes with any of my friends uh, but i i sorry you know while i was saying that uh, i remember your earlier question about did anybody ever give up um your friends or family and my best friend is here from california he's he's my he's been my best friend since we were in high school and bahut matlab mazakiya banda nahi hota sahi american aise bolta hai and then he like mummy jaana khana le aao you know is like one of those and uh, best friend uh, his mother's like my mother his father thinks of me as a son his brothers are my brothers his children are my god children you know wife is my sister it's like we're like a home and uh, when i was kidnapped i jab main dusri drone drone strike mein tha to ye mi wale mere ghar aaye unhone meri walida ko bataya ke shabaz and we know he's dead like we know nah, on drone strike yeah, this is not like the first time so she's like but the first time you had said it, he's dead so she's like look i've told you whenever you want to come and tell me that he's dead just bring the body so i think haris happened to be sitting in that conversation when the military guys were having this conversation with my mother so my, haris was part of it and it takes a toll on anyone even if you're a man if your best friend is being tortured in solitary confinement across another country by terrorists you know if you cried about it it's fine you know you so have that so he was very taken by it and two three of my other friends got together and he was telling them and he was like you know they said this and they're military guys and they're colonels and they're isi guys and they're not bullshitters and they know what they're talking about is tarah kaun kisi ki maa ko aake kehta hai so another friend of mine looked at me he's like haris do you think he's dead so he just he took a deep breath and he looked at him he's like i don't know i i he's my best friend and i have this connection with him and uh, i feel him and i feel like if something had happened to him allah would tell me and i just feel him i i feel him and i know he's okay and i think 10 days later i escaped and <laughs> came home so you know like uh, i had like a lot of people believe in me mm. um and some and that's also part of my journey now uh, of being stronger and moving and remembering that this is it's not such an isolated journey as well it wasn't such an isolated journey i had people uh, with me like my mom uh, my best friend my brother you know my sister my grandmother my khala my mamu um it was really hard for them and so i was i i wasn't alone and the fact that we're all together and that they see me happy and moving on with my life it helps their trauma as well you know i'm not the mm-hmm. only one i'm actually the luckiest of everyone you know a lot of people don't talk about my mom and i think she probably went through more than even myself i's been dies son gets get yeah. dad everything happening at the same time yeah and you know i, I you're a dad right yes. um um so my son got typhoid and i have three children but uh, my son got typhoid and i spent a month in hospital and it was the hardest month of my life if you can understand that it's a very touch and go situation it's a very different kind of love you feel for your children yeah and very... when i saw them putting needles in him and his pain 
I remember I had to take a minute because I went outside of the children's uh, ER and I just uh, broke down a little bit because it's, it's very difficult to see this. Yes. And uh, I just wanted him to be better, yeah. And uh, I was home and I was just telling my mother that, you know, I don't think anybody will understand this. It's just so... F- and I felt embarrassed saying it because she just looked at me and she's like, I understand. Uh, you know, seeing a child in pain. And they would send her these videos and she would see them. And uh, they would call her and they would harass her for hours and hours and hours. Same repetitive garbage. For four and a half years they did this. There's something I saw in an interview of yours where they would send like 12 hour long videos and hide messages at the three yeah. hour mark. And oh, six oh, hour this was mark when they buried me. Yes, in uh, sand. In, 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 uh, in dirt. Know, yeah. yeah, dirt. And, um, and uh, they made her watch it. And then funny enough, when I was back, we were watching BBC randomly and we random BBC Cooper we news article laga ke if you're buried up to your neck for six hours, you can get a cardiac arrest. And my mother just fainted. <laughs> I was like, thank God I didn't know this before. Because <laughs> you know, that you can play like yeah. um Your like, mind can play tricks on you yeah, and all yeah. these things. So I just, you know, I she's been through a lot. So sometimes you know, if things don't play, luckily nothing has ever played out for me in a way that this has been a burden. But in life, if I'm ever down, mm. I just have to look around me for inspiration of people who were strong. So what do you think if your dad was alive, like, and this happened to you, and what would he want you to do? Like, you know, I, uh, it's a really difficult question because I used to, my kidnapper to made me tell my mother once that if my father is alive, then he will give me this to me. Uh, to make her feel bad yeah. and yeah. And uh, when I escaped, I called ma- the first time I spoke to Mama. I apologized for that specific thing because I was like, you won't understand how they like. There was a lot of reasons why they made me do it, how they made me do it. I wasn't agreeing a hundred percent in the beginning, um, but it's also very difficult to disagree with what they want you to say. Um, but it was an awful thing to say to her. And, uh, but I'll tell you the truth. I think if my father was alive, it would have been the most helpless moment of his life. He was a very powerful and strong man. Mm. And he was a problem solver. He would solve anything. And that's actually why he was so successful in life. Because he never solved a problem. Like anytime he was hit with a tragedy or a problem, his response was not, <gasps> you know, it was like, solve. So the solution of this issue would start immediately. Mm. Mm. And I think that this was an issue that would have left him helpless. And I know that this might sound a little strange, but I really for a long time believed that my father died so that he could protect me while I was over there. Okay. And uh, I used to have these dreams where I would see Abba and he would talk to me and he would guide me. and. Uh, Sometimes when I was being tortured, I would be in and out of consciousness. But really, he was standing like with my, like the people in that room, like I could see him there. And uh, I'm not joking about like the kind of guidance, like I was a little bit crazy, I was giving a lot of money, 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 I was giving a lot of money. They would put me down and inject me with ketamine and then I'd wake up and get my shit together and start again. You know, and they'd come in and I guess the per, the end game was to be killed or something, right? Because like it's khatam ho jai, it was khatam ho jai. I'd gone over the edge and my dad came to me in a dream and he just kept saying, stop it, stop it, stop it. And uh, another time I was badly beaten and they had my hands tied tied to something or uh, and the thing is that it's it's also very humiliating because the when when you're uh, tied up um, and someone starts hitting you your immediate reaction is to plead for mercy because the helplessness of your situation is very different if your hands are free you can't go into fight and then you get beaten and beaten. Yeah, up. at least you can cover yourself. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? But this is a really shitty, helpless situation. And I think it was 70s, 80s. My, unfortunately, mother will tell you 
<coughs> the exact number this start with 80 but it went to like 120 130 or something over okay. over 7 days but it was every day and but and to give you perspective like khane mein panch chitter is enough to get like yeah, yeah, yeah. sari information they made them confess to everything, ah, everything. bachpan mein maine toffee chori ki thi ye bhi kya sab ho gaya aur maaf kare ab dusre chitter pe to maafiyan hain to teesra wala is just to teach you this but when you you crossing double digits and things like your brain is actually breaking it's such severe pain it's like koi aapke sar pe patthar maar raha hai magar sar nahi phat raha magar dard aapko feel ho rahi hai also your nervous system is on your back yes so somehow that kind of pain is just excruciating all over you and the swelling is also quite bad so anyways i just on the 100th or the if it was the last day or the second last day i can't remember but we crossed 100 and when he finally hit me with the last like if i was holding the chains like this like my life hath khol gaye the bas like the last was i was hanging now i was on hanging holding the chain i was now hanging in pain so they uh, they cut me down or whatever they opened the chain and i just collapsed lifeless on the floor and i i was lying on the floor like this like my face was strong i could not move and i could see like my my abductor and the, the boy who was hitting me and my guard and then i felt like somebody just held me like this and i could see like a hand and obviously i'm hallucinating or in Excessive Whatever. pain, but my father was holding me and just saying it's going to be okay. And th- it was very difficult because the only time I would see him would be in these very painful dreams or in very painful situations where I was mm-hmm. now on the verge of hallucination. I was starved. I was not getting food. I, I just living in filth. You're being drugged at the same time as well. Uh, not drugged, but not I during that time. sleep deprived. I was being okay. sleep deprived, so I think I couldn't sleep. Like I can't sleep more than four hours. Four no. five hours. Yeah, no, I don't sleep more than four five hours. If I sleep, I, I'm up at you know the crack of dawn. Unfortunately, these guys, my yeah, office. Yeah, I was gonna say the. Yeah, yeah. They start getting messages at five in the morning. Ha, bhai. Yeah. And they're like, you know, office sir, nine thirty शुरू होता है. खुदा का आप नाम ले लें इस वक्त. But you know, but what do I do? I'm like that. That's when I feel lonely. I don't know why Salman is agreeing in the background like Gigi. I see you. Like, no, but you know, even the mass suba gets done like this. So, what do you do? There's not a lot to do in the morning. Four and a half hours to do nothing. Your yeah. children don't even bloody wake up till seven yeah. o'clock. So, yeah. anyways, but it's very different when your habit becomes habit, and you have to wake up forcefully in order to be hallucinating. And it's just a tough, you know, physical pain is. I want to say, like, are there like other than like the physical scars and stuff? What other physical ailments now do you have post that thing? I've worked very hard to fix them. The slouch, I think, is the last thing. My teeth okay. are all broken. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that day on Instagram, somebody was making fun of my teeth, and they were like, "You know, this leads to heart attack." I was like, "My teeth are broken. What am I doing? I'm crazy." You talk about veneers or something? Yeah. So yeah. actually, the problem is they're all uh, who cracked. Yeah, okay. and unko it was done in an emergency room. It was before my kidnapping. It was done in an emergency room at the time. So there are fillings everywhere. The oh, teeth okay. are broken from everywhere. Who gun butt? मुझे किसी ने मारे थे दो तीन मुंह पे सो दे एक्चुअली दिस दिस साइड माय फेस हैज नो नथिंग नो टीथ ओह ओके सो यू चू फ्रॉम वन साइड ऑफ द फेस नो आई चू फ्रॉम दिस शिट इट वर्क्स अच्छा ओके द गम्स वर्क या या दे वर्क बट आई मीन इट्स मोर इट्स बेटर ओवर हियर द टेस्ट इज इट्स अ मोर रियल फीलिंग बट अम बट या बट लाइक दिस दिस इज द लास्ट थिंग बट आई फाउंड आई अ कजन ऑफ माइन एक्चुअली इज अ टॉप ये कायरोप्रैक्टिशनर बेसिकली वो आपकी इसको सही कर देते um but yeah who are i saw it happen as well over a period i was just like a proper guy and then this occurred and then um this is fine but they shake a little bit mm. um they i used to do that thing with my friends who were doctors like haha let's see who's you know but Hands they here. they shake when they grow a little bit you see you know the whiteness over here yes that that's when it starts hurting over here okay um my joints are weak uh all over a little bit but it's something that i'm working on well, this can improve yes. Th- these things this you can, can improve, improve. Yeah, sure. um i lost my gall bladder that was tough oh, okay. stones starvation yeah um but nothing that i can't fix okay. or that i'm not like i don't working mind to fix. Yeah, yeah you know and with a lot of uh, jab main wapas aaya tha na i was 
like a hundred low care the aapde healthy lag rahe the but i was really anorexic really oh, like uh. thin man and with the days you didn't look you look bloated like your face looked puffy maine yeah, actually nihari khai thi oh really just time before i came to the hostel the first picture of me that was released was after like two bowls of nihari oh, okay um but but i was still like i was very unhealthy and mere ribs or you know like wo bahut main ajeeb sa tha but i think dino mein i could not stop eating i could not stop eating and i suddenly went from like maybe 160 pounds 100 and you know something like that mm. i went to like 230 pounds oh wow and i was like a balloon balloon yeah. and i could not stop eating i and I, and the problem was sometimes it was becoming embarrassing because my ek cheez hoti thi aur i would reach it for it with my hands oh okay you know and like a couple of times my mother would like they you know my family would put there and i'd give up like put my head down and feel embarrassed and maybe once i cried as well like why why am i so behaving jungly, like, like a savage why can't i eat aram se mm. uh, but you can't cuz smell me so it need you know it's so difficult so i worked on it i eat like yeah. a human being now um there's nothing that you can't work on you know that, the reason that i do this actually is also to tell people that you know sometimes life can deal you a really bad hand mm. um and that's not okay you know somebody will tell you it's okay it's not okay um don't let it, let ever let it be okay either but if you can don't let it define who you are don't let somebody else's uh, you know ravaiya with you define who you are you can be better and stronger um i i wasn't the strongest guy you know i'm not the biggest guy um i'm not the smartest guy uh, i wasn't the best sportsman either but there were moments through this journey where i stood up for myself and i really again <laughs> against a uh, people that i i don't know many people that i'm sure you must have surprised yourself even i think place. even pissed them off <laughs> <laughs> surprise myself but i had to you know i always tell people if you back someone against a wall the only place to come is back yeah is back yeah um and i don't know if i was brave i was very patient and that's okay. what that's what my actual strength is is an amazing amount of sabr and patience um and it's and i find that to be rewarding the result of that to be extremely rewarding so yeah so you know um it's it it shouldn't be okay but like i said like the reason that i do this is so that people know that yeah there you can have a tomorrow even if you're having a tough today you know the last question i want to ask you if you like we have to break for juma and stuff like that um and it's like a, it's something that i i have not thought of in some time that you should think about that mumtaz qadri's son and salman tasir's son right both went through something very traumatic which they didn't have any control over right salman tasir and mumtaz qadri are the main actors in it mumtaz qadri had a greater role in perpetrating whatever it is what would you want to say to mumtaz qadri's son if you could meet him and talk to him now i would never uh by the way uh, one of the things that our religion teaches us is no one is responsible for anyone else yes. um, even if you support them and uh, one of the surah bakra ki pehli ayaton mein se ek hai ke islam mein mukammal taur pe dakhil ho jao aur kaise matlab ke jo apne maa baap ki padhai hui cheez hai usko chhod do it's the hardest thing mm. is to say ke jo meri tarbiyat hai jo meri upbringing hai wohi galat hai जनरेशनल तरबियत ही गलत है मगर ये पहली ये सूर बकरा आपको सबसे पहली चीज़ करती है तो आए एक मैं आपको बात बताता हूँ दिस इज एन अबाउट मुमताज़ कादरी एंड इट्स नॉट अबाउट हसान जब मैं जब अल्लाह ने मुझे वो अपॉर्चुनिटी दी कि आई कुड स्केप एंड आई कुड कम बैक होम एंड वन आई वॉज लिविंग दैट जेल आई थॉट इट वॉज रियली इम्पोर्टेंट दैट आई स्पीक टू माई गार्ड कैप्टर तुम्हार गया था गार्ड था um because i used to listen to the games with him and because when we were being bombed i was telling you about you know why i support drones because mm-hmm. when i was running from the f16s i didn't have the stamina to run aur usne mujhe apni kamar pe rakh ke wo 
اس طرح اٹھا کے مجھے پگی بیک پگی بیک می ٹو مائی ہیلتھ اینڈ یو نو وی ود لاسٹ پیپل ٹو گیٹ ٹو دا جو ایک کیو تھا ہم نے ماؤنٹین کو کراس کر کے دوسری سائڈ پہ جانا تھا اینڈ سو ہیل اینڈ آئی وز دا لاسٹ ٹو پیپل ٹو گیٹ دیر اینڈ وین وی گوت دا اٹ واز ایوننگ اینڈ ایوننگ از دا ورسٹ ٹائم بیکاز ڈرونس کین پک یو اپ لائک دس وہ آپ کی ہیٹ سگنیچر آ رہے ہوتے ہیں بہت کلیئر ہوتا ہے تو وین وی اینٹر ان ٹو دیٹ کیو نا وہ میرا جو کڈنیپر تھا نا اس نے اس وقت کا کیسے آئے ہیں Like he, they thought we were dead. We would not make it. But he carried me that, on that mountain. Because when I was running, I think I was going to go to the mountain. I was going to go to the mountain. So how I climbed that mountain is, is, it was because of him. So I went to him and I told him, I was like, you know, I'm leaving. I don't know what's going to happen with you. Because the Uzbeks were in a tough place with the Afghan Taliban. And he just looked at me and he had this ang- like disappointment. It wasn't anger, it was disappointment. And he's like, you weren't the one. ہم سمجھے تھے یو ناٹ دا گائے دیٹ وی تھاٹ اینڈ آئی یو تھنک دیٹ وی وو فرینڈس لائک ڈیڈ آئی آئی مین آئی نو آئی لسن ٹو دا مین یونائٹیڈ گیمز ود یو بٹ یو نو یو یو ٹو فائیو ایئرس فرام مائی لائف یو آر ٹارچرنگ یو آر ٹارچر وین یو یوز ٹو آسک یو فار یو نو a nail you used to give him a nail when he used to ask you for ghost you used to give him ghost when he said so his mouth you sold my mouth when he said bury him you buried me You did what he said, but you needed to listen to the games, man. You needed to commit that sin and the only place you could commit it was in a hole with me. But whereas you are finding it very difficult because you did this to me in God's name. I forgive you in Allah's name. That's the only thing I learned from my religion. Then when you come to these people, there was a woman who said to me on Twitter that I'm against capital punishment. I hate it. And I think it shouldn't exist and it means that you've given up on human beings. Your mother was saying My this. mother was saying okay. this and that you, why don't we rehabilitate and integrate people? Okay. Uh, something very close to my family because my family hated everyone in Waziristan when I was kidnapped and they wanted the whole place to be nuclear bombed. But when I came back and told them that it was actually my kidnapper's mother-in-law and his wife and his children that saved my life and my sanity and that the reason that you get this version of Shabazz Tasir is because of the work that they put in. because of the ease that they gave me. You know, they're human beings everywhere mm. in, in, in all kinds of places. You know, so they, so they don't, now, now they believe more towards the rehabilitation of these people because they have children, because they have women, because, you know, they deserve a second chance too. You know, when you mess up in school and break someone's head, you know, your father goes and gets a safarish and you get a second chance. Well, if your father did something and they're being droned and they've lost their mother, father, dada, dadi, They deserve a second chance as well. They deserve a chance to be rehabilitated. Mm-hmm. They deserve a chance to be integrated into this system. This system of yours for which you bombed them. You know, the system that we were saying is anyways completely broken and should yes. be discarded. But you bombed and killed all these people. To protect the broken system. To, to protect have. this broken yes. system. So why not give them that second chance? Why not rehabilitate? I'm not mm-hmm. saying like Imran Khan did open the borders and bring them back. You know, not like this. I'm, to, I'm talking about really on a human level, you take someone in and you integrate and you rehabilitate him and you give him an opportunity at life. It's not too much to ask for. And I don't think that. And so somebody said to my mother, she's like, maybe, you, you know, because you're social media, but mashallah, people talk like this, I don't know what you think of it. So she goes, maybe you should have given your husband's killer the same opportunity. So my mother felt embarrassed. So I replied and I was like, you know something? My mother actually did want him. My mother didn't want him to be hanged. She wanted him to be rehabilitated and apologize for his goddamn crime. That's what my mother wanted. She wanted that my father's murderer be the symbol of my father's redemption. Like, you know, it didn't want just a Supreme Court verdict and Asya Bibi ke rehai or, or kanuni lafso mein mere baap ki vindication. She really did want that the man who murdered him says that I was wrong. You know, interestingly enough, like post Mumtaz Qadri being hanged, right? Uh, the entire image that is presented of Mumtaz Qadri and of his son now, I think he's like what, 12 or 13? 12 or 13. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? It's nothing to do with anything. But it's like a mazaar. Yes. The idea is that while I don't agree with capital punishment should not exist, I believe in had punishment for had sentences. The idea that the family of someone that goes through capital punishment or any punishment for that form, they should not be treated any differently from any citizen of Pakistan. Mumtaz Qadri's son needs help right now because he's being indoctrinated into a system where he's led to believe 295C is okay. Mm. What his father did was okay. His father is a great hero. 
and this will just perpetuate that particular cycle which will in effect lead to an insult of the religion of Islam even more like these are the kinds of things that gore pick up and then hammer over the head with yeah it when it comes to the clergy and this is what the clergy hates but they keep doing it themselves like this is the cash train to they don't understand but nobody as far as the government is concerned or generally like anyone that could help him will actually ever reach out to mumtaz qadri's kid yeah I, no i i th- what you're saying i've thought about a lot i just think that you know it, my mother your said, help you know, they wouldn't accept right yeah no the, my mother said it's a mountain so i was like i i'm big at climbing mountains <laughs> yeah um but they would never this, they wouldn't accept this is not something that works yeah. for them yeah um and it's too gracious on my, it's too big of a win in the way that things are portrayed oh the way they, the yeah, the it's too big of a dialogue win for me. Said, yeah, yeah 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 you know me wanting to sit with mumtaz qadri san to forgive and rehabilitate him is like i'd rather die mumtaz qadri san i'd rather die so because he's been indoctrinated in yes. his own in his own in a particular brand yeah. um the the funny thing is though that uh, you know he's not answerable for his father's crimes no of course not like. he's answerable for his own but I, i my again the thing that upsets me about people in this country is that why should they be answerable when they you know manipulated by a system and forced and yes god says seek common sense and educate yourself but when we're trying to seek common sense and educate yourself and then this is the common sense mm-hmm. what do you do yeah you're like a headless sheep in the system so i don't know but yeah i i believe if this country was set up like a truth and reconciliation commission like internally for pakistanis mm-hmm. displaced pakistanis mm-hmm. disappeared pakistanis pakistanis affected by terrorism there's many problems there's, there's a lot yeah. of problems here then yeah i would love to i would sit across him i would even um i would even sit across him if he agreed with his father's view and and talk to him you know that's his upbringing and my upbringing was very different so the person who's saying this is saying it through his life experiences my father would never sit across the table with my mother uh nor would anyone else from my family and maybe it would be thought of as perfectly reasonable it's thought of as person uh-huh. perfectly reasonable but my kidnapper's mother-in-law saved me and maybe i i, I could help someone you know that um, speaks to the psyche of war torn areas their morality to us seems skewed but to them their lived experience creates that sort of morality where you felt for your mother in law of your captor hence you prayed for their makhrat yeah. so it's operating differently it is and and you know like honestly <coughs> i i wonder if i'd even be here if it wasn't on meri bahut mushkil zindagi thi aur us aurat ne mujhe jab mere kamar se gosht nikal rahe the you know usne bhi kafi barrier tode the to reach me parde ka jo barrier hota hai na usko aap ek lohe ki dawar hi samajh le usko jo aurat todti hai usko us maut bhi de sakta hai mard us un jagahon pe they can react however so they choose. however they react, the, the woman is a property even the mother in law is a property of the the son in law so he can he can react anyway but the fact that she control had such command and and conviction in terms of whatever it was she saved my life and she stopped them from torturing me and then she made my life better she gave me food she gave me a toothbrush and a toothpaste you know um she gave me soap and and i swear i cannot tell you how dehumanizing it is to live without these three or four things for three years um you know um wo main aapko दांत का बता रहा था किसी ने ना मुझे इंस्टाग्राम पे ये लिखा ना कि वो यो टी था सो मेस्ट अप व्हाट्स रॉन्ग विद यू एंड आई जस्ट ऑब्वियसली वो आप बंदे को लगती है बात एंड आई वाज लाइक यार साढ़े तीन साल आई कुड आई डिंट लाइक आई कुड डू एनीथिंग थिंग पानी से कुल्ली भी नहीं कर कुल्ली भी नहीं कर सकता था यार आई वॉज रिपल्स्ड बाई माई ओन स्मेल एंड बाई माई ओन फेस एंड बाई माई ओन लाइक द होल दर आई वॉज इन आई वॉज सो I felt so humiliated, and then it's ne mujhe wo izzati, you know, it's aurat ne mujhe wo izzati, wo toothbrush diya, wo toothpaste, and my dance side, all are bad. But when I dance brush, I feel clean. When I feel clean, I feel clean. When I use soap, 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 I feel clean. When
and when we speak of empathy and and we speak about building our country and building our society and building our people and empowering them and we speak about you know the basics of feminism the foundation of islam the foundation of governance you know forgiveness patience empathy sympathy if these are not the qualities then you shouldn't even really maybe you should choose another religion altogether you know mere walid sahab mujhe kehte the ki islam ko thoda sa complicate kar diya बस ऐसे मुसलमान हो कि जो पूरी दुनिया की नज़र में भी गिर जाए बस अपनी नज़र में ना गिरना कस तुम्हें अपने अंदर का वो बेहतर पता है तो अपना मॉरल कंपस इतना हमेशा रखना है यार कि कि यू नो यू आर नॉट डिस्पिकबल एंड एंड ट्रू ट्रूली डिस्पिकबल पीपल नो वट दे आर एंड एक मैंने पैगम्बर इस्लाम की एक हदीस पढ़ी थी कि वट वर हिज क्वालिटीज यू नेवर लाई हिज एनिमीज you know you, your friends never and family can never tell your true qualities but your enemy will tell your best quality mm. and they used to say he's not a liar mm. he's not a thief mm. he's not a backbiter and if you give him something you get it back and and these are foundations of what we say you know mere abbu kehte the pehle insaan ban jao fir musliman ban jana to but ye aapki basic foundation hoti hai ye aapka moral compass aap kaise insaan ho aapki upbringing kya hai you know to mm. if you want to build this country then shabash tasirs and qadri's children and and so many so many children and mothers and fathers who have lost so much in this in this country because of a war that started in 2002 and then so many socio economic problems from before that that they had no decision making in it's yeah. not like you and i caused this problem yeah and you know wo main aapko nasiha ka bata dunga when i met these young lum students you know i I I sorry I, I not Nasir I was speaking uh, in Karachi grammar school okay. so they're 17 they they're bachche hain wo a levels yeah, a o a levels up to 18 hote hain to wo college ke nahi hote abhi wo ja rahe hain ab unhone mujhe bulaya jab main actually main badi khushi se gaya kyunki meri walida ka alma mater hai meri khala mere mamu to you know I felt like you know they've called me that's very nice so I went there but when I sat down and I looked at my audience it was all 15 16 year old kids and i was like have you guys read my book and they're like yes i was like why <laughs> i didn't even know what like and like this stuff was when i was 15 i didn't know anything like the only time i found about what a terrorist was when that plane hit the twin tower because it was so close to home and i was like in the 12th grade mm-hmm. so i was like why why and they're like but like hum to isme bade hue hain hame to like suicide bombs and कोरोना एंड घर एंड स्कूल ऑफ एंड रेड अलर्ट एंड ये और वो ये तो बड़ा नॉर्मल है हमारी एंड यू नो वी हैव अ जनरेशन ऑफ यंग पाकिस्तानी फ्रॉम द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर टू जीरो अप इन अ वेरी ट्रमा इट्स नॉट द सेम देन लाइक माई मी एट फोर्टी यू नो आई आर रिलेटिवली पीसफुल एटीन ईयर्स इन लाहौर बिफोर शेट है दैन जब बच्चा था जिसने एक टेरिस को अपने स्कूल में जाने से रोका था यू नो ही जस्ट अ केड मैन आज इन वे ही हैड टू फाइंड दैट ब्रेवरी टू सेव हिज फ्रेंड्स एंड हु डिजर्व दैट इट्स अ वेरी ट्रामेटाइज जनरेशन दैट्स ऑल्सो बिन एक्सपोज टू अ फॉर्म ऑफ वायलेंस दैट आई वेरी फ्यू कंट्रीज है so yeah. sort of like uh, lesser to the degree that let's say palestinians face it but of course you of find course. a but you still find a similar sort of psychosis yeah right this like कुछ फलस्तनी बच्चों का इंटरव्यूज देख रहा था वट यू वॉन्ट बी अर डॉक्टर एंड वर्स लाइक यू नॉट गोन सी ट्वेल्व मन दे लाइक योर सिक्स यू नॉट गोन सी ट्वेल्व यू सेन बी अर डॉक्टर इस लाइक उनके दिमाग दो सेपरेट टेंजेंस पे ऑपरेट कर रहे हैं एक लाइफ और डेथ का और एक ग्रेट एस्परेशनल ड्रीम्स का एंड एंड आई वॉज सिक्स और ट्वेल्व जस्ट लाइक क्या करना है आर नो लंच क्या खाना है लाइक लाइफ और डेथ का नहीं है पर हिंदुस्तान मेरे किडनेपर की ना एक बेटी थी फातिमा छोटी beautiful girl white 
blue was a anke blonde hair these uzbeks are very beautiful as well yes, you know they they uh, this entire region is like uh, yeah that is kind of so she was maybe she was very small but I, when i came she must have been 3 and by the time this incident happened maybe 4 or 5 and i'd lived with her for 2 2 and a half years so she came to me and said you know draw me a, a doxon doxon is like a pickup truck we go yeah, yeah. तो मैं बना रहा था वो अपनी चीज़ बना रही थी और मैंने सारी गाड़ी बनाई एंड देन कलर्ड इट पिंक एंड मेड फ्लावर्स ऑन द डोर तो मैन आई मेड माई फर्स्ट फ्लावर शी लाइक शी कॉल मी बाबू जी शी लाइक बाबू जी या आप क्या किया तो आज मैं फातिमा के लिए फूल बना रहा हूँ शी हैड अ रे सो आई लाइक आई टोल यू आई हैव थ्री केज राइट सो आई सीन माई चिल्ड्रेन ग्रो थ्रू वेरियस इमोशन पर आई नेवर सीन रेज आई नेवर सीन रेज इन अ चाइल्ड लाइक रेज and she was like why have you done this i had to carry out a suicide bombing and now who's going to take me seriously and the thing is that's not funny like there's no humor in this this is a five year old child and i remember when i was five i wanted to be like he man i wanted to be like an avenger i wanted to be batman i don't yeah, know what the hell like i wanted that. to be but i definitely didn't want to end my life like i wanted i had so many dreams and hopes of what life would be like you know and imagine depriving a child of dreams and hopes like children should dream they should wonder they should um daydream they should fantasize they should you know like do this is what a child should do but imagine this just like why did you draw a flower on my car man a catch 22 hai yeah like would you want to go raise your children in an environment where they believe that islam is the end all be all and you come in this world to serve islam right as opposed to what we like to call selfie materialism mm-hmm. basically there is islam and there is dunya mm-hmm. and you operate both operate, yeah. so there is a philosophical inconsistency between the two between the two no, this I, is a, know, this is a, a personal like it's not something that we often talk about but you think about this all the time like you make money it's good make money put kids to good colleges and stuff get nice house but why right when you come to the why ek agar aakhirat mein determine ho rahi hai mere amal pe jitna waqt main zaya kar raha hu large sustenance kamane ke liye minimum sustenance kama ke bhi main kar sakta hu to ye ek conundrum hai par iske upar hamari koi scholarly class exists nahi karti and you and i are sort of left Uh, with our western liberal educations mm. picking up the pieces so agar uska result thoda skewed aayega nobody should be surprised hamari training differently we have this is again like the little girl is encapsulates that very idea that very idea and and i you know i i want obviously i want the best for my kids mm. but i don't want them to find allah like i found him you know i want it to be easier mm. i want it to be less painful and violent sure, uh, sure. but i re- it's so important for me that that's a fundamental part of their foundation as human beings and their moral compass and i don't know if this country exactly you know my experience uh, gave that to me not the laws of this country or my upbringing here um so yeah you know i would like to talk to you more be with all the cheese and but we really do have to end it i hope yeah. like everybody we, uh, went a little over our <laughs> yeah, time it's fine i hope everybody does listen to the conversation from beginning to end and uh, just to understand what somebody goes through not only in a traumatic experience but how it changes the way they view morality because i think that's the key takeaway from here is that a person living in a war torn area a person going through something so traumatic their idea of morality sort of changes and it becomes more visceral and basic which morality inevitably should be this idea that now you can relate to what is happening over there or in any war torn area is something to take away very much so thank you shabaz bhai for coming thank you for having right. me right and, and uh, inshallah hopefully we will speak again soon yeah, sometime it was so lovely and time just went by like this but thank you for having me exactly exactly